Right anyway, guys, we're, I think we're good to go. For some reason in this game, it's not taking my shortcut commands to mute the mic and ch change scenes, so every time I have to do it, I have to quickly minimize the game. But we'll just roll with it. Hello, everybody. My name is Jack, and I'm streaming to you all the way from New Zealand, a, a little old place on uh, the very corner of the world. Uh, yeah, Moobot, I haven't changed over the commands yet. I thought I'd try and get OBS working instead, but it seems like Flaos is going to try and fix it. I'm not from Australia, I'm, fr I'm living in New Zealand, but I originally was born in Australia, but so I'm kind of a mix of both. We're going to be playing Steam World Dig. This game is so much fun. I have completed the game before, and I think I completed it in about 2 hours and 40 minutes. So, fingers crossed, we're actually going to finish the game on stream, all going well. So, someone asked earlier, is this going to be a speedrun? And, well, it could be. And if we finish early, I've got another game up my sleeve to play uh, for the last part. We'll go for about 3 hours, and then I think it's Geordie Jones after that. So, let's get started. I'm going to jump into a brand new slot, and we're going to jump straight into the game. Let me know, guys, if all the sound levels and videos are all okay. Hopefully, everything is fine. We got our trusty companion here, Rusty. He's a he's a little bit of a rusted machine. He's got a I guess the, a boiler unit in the front of him to let him go. He's kind of like an old-fashioned Iron Man if you want to think about it in that way. As someone pointed out, I'm not playing this on 3DS. I'm playing it on uh, on PC. Obviously, that's what GOG does. I'm playing with an Xbox 360 controller plugged in though because I just like playing with controllers. And the game is on 3DS. I think it's on some other platforms as well. But Rusty says, oomph. Well, I don't reckon I'll get out of the way I got in. It could be part of my uncle's mine, I guess. All it needs is a splash of paint. Better explore it before the rest of my light dwindles. So in the top right, we've got a, a light button. That will just dwindle down to show us uh, how much we can see around us as we play through the game. Now this character here is Dorothy. Say, what do you think you're doing? Your dramatic entrance nearly caved the roof in. I'm sorry, miss. My uncle sent me to claim this mine. I was heading to Tumble Town to find why, when I just fell through. Oh, you're Joe's nephew, so Joe's our uncle here. Thanks for second for wishing me luck on the stream. You guys probably, for, if you're a European here, you probably should be asleep considering what time it is over there. Uh, but I hope most of you guys are presuming uh, in the States, because it's about midnight for you guys. It is early evening here in New Zealand. I'm Joe's nephew. He's been going a while. I've been sneaking down here mining what little I can. I just found him. I'm, I'm sorry. You should go see for yourself. We're going to find Uncle Joe. This game is really neat. It's a, a very simple action or a, a adventure platforming game. I really enjoy the mechanics. Now, someone asked if I'm playing with a gamepad. I'm playing with a 360 gamepad. So we, we can move around. You can use either the, the D-pad or the analog sticks. We, we can jump. Oh wow, I just failed the first jump of the game. That's kind of embarrassing. We can grab a pickup there. That allows us to get more light into our system. I come over here. And this is this is poor Uncle Joe. It's been a while, Uncle. Sorry I didn't make it before you left us. 5 a.m. in the UK. Man, Effenden, you're doing really well. Oh wow, there is actually loads of Europeans here. You guys are crazy. Going to watch for at least 24 hours in a row. Well, you've got a lot more energy than I do. You always claimed we were so much alike. Can't say I understand why you sent me the claim, though. I'm no miner. Well, I hate to rob you of all your plunder. If I can just borrow your pickaxe, I might get out of this calaboose. So, we have acquired the old mighty pickaxe. Essentially, this is a mining game. If anybody can remember a really old Flash game called Motherload, it's the one that I was introduced into this concept. It's essentially an amazing version of that and there's probably loads of other games like it as well but this game just i really enjoy the concept so by holding or pushing b we can dig out these little bricks here and we can make our way back out as roto penguin just said steam World heist is their next production and it is coming soon i've been following the developers as they've been making progress let's have a chat to dorothy see so you found the pickaxe you do look a proper miner with it that's good the lever opening the door out of here got buried when you dropped in You'll have to clear out a tunnel below us to get to it. Cool. Find the lever. Uh, I probably missed in the chat earlier, but let me... Is it the audio levels alright for you guys? Hopefully it is totally fine. 
So, we can dig through this material here, you'll probably notice there's uh, different rocks, so this stuff here is way too hard for my pickaxe to break. And there'll be materials in the game which you just cannot break. Uh, but as the game progresses, it's quite likely you'll unlock new pickaxes which allow you to break through materials you couldn't break through before. Now, a really important uh, mechanic in this game is that when you're moving around, you can only hit blocks that are in front of you to the sides. But for example, I can't really hit that one above me here easily. I think if I'm very careful, I can get to the edge like so and I can knock it out. But it can be quite difficult depending on where you're at. I need light. I am. I've got no light now. I'm I'm not illuminating anything. So when you want to get to something which is in a very particular spot, you often have to come down from the top to get to it. So just demonstrating that mechanic. Our mini-map in the top right is showing us where, the, where we need to go and that's really important. It's a really useful map system. There'll be lots of different symbols on there later on and it will just guide us the whole way through the game. Let's start breaking our way through. What's the time? I've been going for six minutes. We are 15 minutes into my stream, barring those issues, but we should be able to finish this game in time. Breaking our way down. Need to start punching a few trees. Not in Minecraft, but I can see why you'd say that. Push the lever, open the door, Dorothy gets out, and then I'm stuck down here. But one thing you can do is you can wall jump, so you're allowed to bounce off walls. It's really while to get this mechanic down packed. Uh, but it's very useful for making your way out. Alright, we've got a health pickup. Uh, our health has got two bars at the top left there. Down the bottom will be our money and other collectibles as we play through the game. We should be able to make our way up this ladder. Cool, so we're in the town of Tumbleton. Our white recharges. How does it actually work? Do we just harness the sun's power? We've got a solar power pack. I love the, the theme though. Kind of a steampunk or an old fashioned theme. It's Steamworld Dick. Uh, really lovely style and presentation this uh, is, is presented at the w I cannot get my words straight tonight. This game's got an amazing presen presentation stuff. Oh. We we'll talked to Dorothy. You handled that mine like a real pro. Seeing as you're a new owner and all, maybe you could keep it open. Bring any ore you find back up to me and I'll give you a fair rate for it. So, find minerals, bring them back, get money. Fairly simple. And I'm Dorothy, by the way. I, I guess we get the advantage that we're able to see what the what the, the, the dialogue boxes say the characters are. For Alas, the character designs are great. Yeah, it's really cool. I've really enjoyed playing through this game. So I've put even some more time after I finished into the game after I've finished it. Now, why don't you try mining some precious stones? So mine for all. So the mini map just says go back down the way you came. There's something about this game where it's not really directly telling you. What you need to do is just kind of like go in this direction and you'll find it. Like you can't miss it. It just says to keep digging down and then after you've dug down for a while it's like, okay, go through here. And I think there's something natural about that that I really enjoy. Here will be our first mineral. Trashing him. One dollar. Yeah, yeah. We're living the high life now, boys. We got one dollar. So we can break these down, and we've got this little creature down there, and as I get close to him, he's going to start popping open. If I don't get, him, get to him quick enough, it'll activate. Let's see if we can get to him in time. I just got to him. And by smashing him, I got a bit of white back, which is neat. Some more trash. Just making my way around. Trashing him, nice nap, yeah. It's pretty obvious. Oh, we got some copper. Oh, two dollars. I'll do my best, guys, to monitor the chat, but if you want to ask me a question, make sure you put the at symbol and then jack attack, and hopefully it will stick out a bit easier for me to me to see it so I can answer it for you guys. Been doing a couple of community streams now for GOG. Hey, hey buddy. Back off. I've done a couple of streams for them, but mostly I do have a YouTube channel. And I do lots of indie games on there. But I love streaming as well, so I've started doing it for GOG. So we've picked up some weights, and down the bottom there you'll see that they take up uh, slots in my inventory. So I could take another couple of copper and trashium, but after that I don't have any more slots. So what we need to do is we need to make our way out of here. Climb 
plunkety crack. Sound design is actually really good. Right, let's make our way out. We'll come over here to Dorothy, we'll have a chat to her. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. You should see my daddy at the upgrade shop. I'll fix that pickaxe so you can dig even deeper. No need to tell him you saw me down there earlier though. Alright. I think, think she's supposed to be down there. Oh yeah, we got eight dollars. Cool. So now, by getting minerals, we can sell them. And if, by getting enough money, it unlocks levels of upgrades for us. We still need to purchase the upgrade, but you just need to keep collecting it to unlock stuff. It works really well. Right, here's Cranky. Now I've got something to work with. What all you have then? So for eight bucks, we can get the sharp pickaxe. Do I want to buy it with my six, or oh, eight bucks? Yep, cool, we got a sharp pickaxe. And hopefully now it will dig uh, quicker through the materials that we were digging through before. That pack actually let you take on harder dirt deeper down. When I was scavenging for, I found something too. A cave. You might want to check it out. Joe used to bring all sorts of stuff from down there. Be careful though, critters have been a bit feisty since the time he went to missing. Alright, let's explore the cave. I've been... I'm used to playing this game, like, towards the end. So, look at this. Bam, bam, bam. And... You have so many unlocks by then, it's kind of weird for me going around. One of the unlocks will get fairly soon, which is very standard, a sprint. I don't have that, it feels really weird to play a game without sprint at the moment. Any dynamite? Not yet. But it's coming, I can tell you that. Let's just pop that through. Cool, and then we've got some harder rock again. But soon we'll be churning through stuff real quickly. Wow, $16 for that one, but it takes up a whole slot. The cool thing though is that the environments change. There's a couple of really unique environments that I uh, was actually quite surprised when I played this the first time, but it added something to the game which was really needed. It made it fresh all the time. Frala, are you going? Are you going full pickups upgrades? Trying to go for all pickaxe. I genuinely go for a mix, but pickaxe just makes everything so much quicker. Keep in mind, I've been really helped this town. Sweet. We got 20 bucks from all that, which is awesome. Not enough to get up to the next level. I uh, say so you keep in your minds, keep in your minds, your uncle's mind open, dangerous place. Lost my leg to a shiner while fixing an old tube in them tunnels. Guess I can mend it myself, but cobble was bra brains? <laughs> the brains, eh? The worst shot, as we said in the old my goodness, that's not even a sentence. Still, we're mining it, we're mining down. Can't get along without a mine now. What all you have then? So we need 30 bucks for that. Uh, we can buy health if I've lost health. We can also buy layers. I probably won't do it because I'm hoping I can do an all right job at uh, building straight down. But why does allow you to uh, put them straight up so it makes climbing easier at certain places? Hugs of War and Papers, please, are almost done. All right, they must... I saw them earlier. They must have been the games that are still on sale at the moment. All right, let's, let's make an express route. Straight down. The depth there is shown under our mini map. We're at 20 meters. Oh, oh, I didn't get him in time. Oh, and I missed him at the time as well. Come on. There we go. Now, for those of you who are up or are going to be awake at this time slot, I'm not doing a stream tomorrow at this time slot. I've got something else on. I'll be doing another one two days from now at the same time. I'll be doing Banner Saga. But I want to bring special attention to three nights from now. I'm doing, if you've had a look at the schedule, I'm doing a session called Multiplayer Madness. It's going to be awesome. I've got a couple of mates that are gonna all get together. We're gonna play some local multiplayer games. We're gonna be playing competitive and cooperative modes. We're gonna be playing Screen Sheet, Spelunky, and Risk of Rain. It's gonna be crazy. We had a practice run the other day, and wow, it's just gonna be hilarious the whole way through. Because we're both awesome at some games, and then we're also awful at others. We'll have chat up, and we'll have a webcam showing you us guys. It's going to be a great party. We've even got party hats. We have party hats for a stream, so it's going to be awesome. So, that's two, one, two, three nights from now. I had a big day today. Quite tired, but I'm always keen for some video games. How do I get you? I, I'm just going to let you be. Alright, let's go into this cave. Cave number one. And these caves give you a little environment, and it's kind of like a puzzle. So, for example, there's not much we can really do here. We can only knock out this thing here. There's nothing we can destroy other than the stuff oh, above us. But we don't have the ability to knock things out above us. So what I need to do is dig down. And that's going to destroy it. Those blocks are straight, full straight down. What you can probably see is that these 
blocks here disappear as you touch them. So just to be aware of that. We're going to pick up here. This refreshes our white, our health, and also something else, which we'll see pretty soon. Now, it looks like there's something. We have to go down here for something. But I don't know if I want to go there just yet. Can I? It looks like there's something up here. Maybe this is the way out. Ah, that looks like the way out. We'll come back there. Down we go. Right. Here we go. Getting that for an upgrade. We've got the speed boost. Technology assimilated. So essentially what this gives is if we hold X, we can finally sprint, which is really, really good. Oh, look. There's all sorts down here. Actually, there's not much at all. I take that back. It looks like there's all sorts down here. This block here, I've kind of ruined it now, but there's cracks coming from one side. Uh, that shows that you can only hit it from one side. Come on, make it. There we go. Oh, look. Did you see that? I can't get this block because I can't hit it. But, if I can... Nope. If I can... Huh? There we go. Alright, we can't get rid of that. But if I push back, I should be able to discard it. So that's a stack of $2. Let's get rid of that. Pick up that for 16 That's way better. Cool. Just little secrets or little hidden things like that make it really satisfying to play and explore in this game. Right, there's a prompt. Oh, wall jumps. Ah, yeah. Just using that speed to get around more. So I'm keen to hear from you guys. I'm going to play this game through as much as I can, and I'm probably going to finish it in time. Do you want me to look for more secrets, like take it at a more leisurely pace, or are you keen for me to kind of speedrun it in a way? Not too fast, not that great at speedrunning. Or, uh, and, and then, sorry, after that, then we can go on to the next game I've got lined up. Yeah, for these... Oh gosh, I can't make that jump. No! There we go. Need to be holding X to make that jump. These caves are really good as a tutorial system. They just introduce the mechanics very slowly. Oh goodness, I can't seem to make that jump, so let's just get out. Alright, we need to get back to town, so we just have to climb our way out. Thankfully though, it seems kind of tedious at the start, like, oh I have to keep I have to keep climbing. What's the next game? Oh, I was trying to keep it a secret, but I guess I can tell you. It is a pretty awesome, I would call it a an action RTS. It's called Infested Planet. Play how I feel it. Probably quite leisurely, because I've had a massive day. I was actually feeling ill this morning, but it's all I'm all ready for games. Cranky, so you found one of Joe's caves, did you? I don't know what unnatural stuff he was up to down there. Unnatural stuff. It makes Joe sound a bit dodgy. Cogs and steam that I get. He meddled with some weird things he did. Sometimes I let him stack some of it here in his store. Weird glowing stuff. I'd rather see him store it in a cavey duck deeper down. Why do you have them? Cool. So, we have enough money because I need to give it to Dorothy first. One time you feel noticing anything quite like that. Did you find that in a cave? I think Joe left it in there for you. Maybe there's some more down there. Look at my awesome shoes. Did you show it to my father? You really should. I already done that. Alright, we get the medium pouch and upgrade our lamp. Awesome. Alright, so if we go back to the store. Uh, medium pouch will give us one inventory slot, and I think that's really important. We don't... Oh, we're $2 short. Cover pickaxe, though. Pickaxe is just always, always worth it. Uh, we can also buy lamps, which is something we can drop down just to have light. Right, well, let's keep going down. Uh, knockout spots. And now these blocks, which took us three hits before, are now pretty much instant. Alright, so... I'm gonna dig straight down just so it's easy to get down later on. I want to loot over here. Not the trash, I don't want any of that trash. Is this game randomly generated? I'm pretty sure the answer is no. I'm pretty sure it's the same from when I played it last time. It could be, but. Especially the caves, those tutorial systems, they definitely- Oh! I'm not even concentrating at all. I just got crushed by a rock. We lost $14. Alright, Crank was able to put us back together though. Wasn't cheap though. No. We got charged 14 bucks. That's a bit awkward, isn't it? <laughs> the 
Let's drop down here. It's not randomly generated because those those caves really do serve as tutorials and you need to be... Okay, we picked up our loot. It's a way of explaining how the games work and so they're not randomly generated. That's right. These guys are going to explode. You're going to explode? Okay, now you've exploded. You're there. Gotcha. Cassie Cockroach, your question killed me. Ah, technically. I am tired, so we'll just blame it on that. Right, a new cave. New cave. We have water. Ooh, what could that mean? Is there any pickup? Is this got a, a lamp pickup? Maybe it was it wanting me to just uh, come up to here? I, I don't think I can do anything in this cave at the moment. Possibly later though, unless it's wanting me to do a running jump across. It has, like, the last time when I finished the game, it was about six months ago. Uh, so that was some time ago. Oh, I nearly had it. Oh, one more time. The, the running, you do need a bit of a run-up. Okay, we'll come back to it. I'll be able to get it later when I'm able to have some more mobility movement. Mobility abilities. And break it in time. Go away, you filthy thing. Get some health. Let's keep going down and dig our way through this game. Down, down, down. Hopefully not to a burning ring of fire. Alright, picking up the loot. I've got no room. These stacks aren't really worth much though, so let's go to that and pick up that. I don't really want to get near those things anymore though, I've had enough of them. If I can get you, there we go. Come on guys, pop, pop. Come on, come on. Come on. I know you're going to explode as soon as I land down on it. Okay. I wonder if I can get lucky. Oh, what? Alright. Okay. Well, after this, we'll probably have to go back up to the top. Sadly... Oh, that's a good loot. Got that. Sadly, we don't have the ability to get to the surface quickly, but I don't think it's too far away. They, the game developers know that after a while, it can become quite frustrating to have to continually do this, make your way back out to the to the surface. But they thought about that, and they added a mechanic which made it much simpler to get to the top. I'm getting much better with my wall jumping now, though, which is good. Oh, I, I say that now. Up we go. Up the top. Over here. Oh, oh, oh. Now, even though it's all oranges, I like the color of this game. It's just nice and bright and vibrant. Gas, it does look a bit tedious. I know it does. But hold on, we'll get there. Whole lantern, neat. You buying anything or not? All right. Whole lantern, which is down here. It gives us 60 more seconds with our light. Uh, so in the top right, there's three bars of the light, and it essentially gives us another block. And so it allows us to have more light for longer. But it requires three orbs, and it's something we haven't seen yet, but it's probably not too far away. Um, I'm going to keep going for pickaxe upgrades. Well, actually, I probably should have got a medium pouch. We'll get a pouch upgrade next, because a pouch upgrade is going to allow us to bring more money back, which is really important. But let's go down. Won't be too much longer. But like, can you remember how long it is until we get... Well, you know what. <laughs> the game really does pick up. It does. And, yeah, it... It's interesting. It doesn't change, like, form or anything. It's still the same game, but it definitely changes the pace and feel throughout. But in a way that I really enjoyed. And when I picked up the game, like, oh, this looks pretty cool. And I was like, oh, this is, this is really cool. Don't blow up. Alright, okay, uh... 
Get my way around these guys without them calling all over the top of me. stay there. Alright, so here we go. This is a teleporter. When I jump through it, we get straight to the surface. And now, I can instantly jump straight back down. So Gask, there's one of the issues sorted. Quick travel to and from uh, the underworld. Got some money. We should have enough for the patch now. Awesome. Alright, let's go. And the teleporter takes you to wherever the last teleporter is. Well, the teleporter you came from, essentially. Got another cave, though. Oh, I see minerals. I like how, as soon as I unearth this block, everything... Oh, hello. Everything below it instantly becomes this unearth. The mini-map instantly clears up. It's really quite nice. Okay, so we've got some blocks here. They don't really seem like they have anything. It looks like I need to run and jump up here. Now I'm pretty sure there's lots of hidden blocks in this game. Ah, here we go. So, by destroying that block there, the thing with the orb in it, we can pick up these little blue orbs. And that's what we use for upgrades. Uh, specialty upgrades alongside money. Alright, there's water below us. I can fall into that. Oh, that was close. We make our way under the water here. We can get up there at the moment. Can't seem to get up there either. Let's jump this way and see what's waiting for us. There's a big guy down there. Alright, another chamber. What is it this time? Steam jump. Alright, so now we've got the water bar in the top left there. It's telling us to return to town, and it's given us a brand new ability. I'm gonna actually let's go with this. This looks like it might be a good resource. But it's hidden away down there, yeah, it'd be something good like silver. Sweet. So, our boy bar, we can fall about water. I love that sound, it's so satisfying. We can get water into our backpack, and so we've got two bars there underneath our health bar. What it allows us to do is, so if I'm here, if I hold down an A, we can essentially just catapult ourselves up. Grab some more water. Can I, does it, I think it destroys a block. Yeah. I wish you to grab some more water. And now I've got a series of puzzles. Oh, well, that, that was lucky for the first time. Yeah, look at all those orbs. Awesome. Man, how much stuff is in here? I kind of want to get some more water before I go there. At least, like, enough for one more jump. The water of that tank is going down, though. But we should be fine. We'll have pointy. All right, breakthrough here. That's a lot of water in that little guy. You're not kidding, Roto Penguin. He's... He's full of it. <laughs> right there. Ah, oh, got some more water. Let's boost up here. Ah, oh, just some standard iron. That's a bit unexciting. Using the mini map to spot where you need to go is really, really useful as well. Oh, just wall jump up that. Yeah. Oh, there's something in the roof here. And that's 25 bucks. That would be really easy to miss. You could just like walk past that water block in the ceiling and that'd be it. Uh, so keeping an eye out for that kind of stuff is really, really useful. Alright. Drops down here and that's it. And we'll take the tele- Oh, pushing up there. We'll take the teleporter back to town and we're going to sell this for some juicy money. Oh, weird how it fits you like that. It's like it's made for me. What? How is it made for me? Alright. Six to nine dollars. Pickhead, just like younger, we always went his own way too. You can't just wager, you might as well help figure it out. Don't want my daughter having to shoulder the work of another lost miner. What do you have? Actually, most things are $75, so that was a kind of a waste of time coming here. Let's go. Let's dig deeper. Just opening the path around. It looks like I have to go big from this side to get to this area here. No, don't charge me. You're trying to tell me something by coming this way? I don't know. Age of Wonders 3 Deluxe. 
the because everyone's talking about it is the next game that's on sale. The Jewel or something like that. For those of you who just joined us, by the way, if you've come from on Twitch and somehow ended up on this channel, the reason for this 96 hour, 96 hour live stream is that oh this guy here actually let's pause that message. This guy here will fire all the projectiles. Now I actually do damage to those blocks and he'll eventually get to us, but we'll take him some time. Doing a 96 hour live stream, bunch of us, about 14 to 20 ish streamers. Streaming a whole variety of games as part of the Insomnia sale on GOG. So currently, there are loads of people in the chat who are refusing to sleep for a good deal of games. And that's a pretty worthy cause, I gotta say. Depends on the game, really, let's be honest. But most of the games on GOG are pretty amazing. Those are some big ass rocks. You're not wrong. Look at them, they're like three times my size. I've gone on a walk around New Zealand once and up by- oh, I got crushed by one of those rocks earlier, let's not do it again. Uh, walk up by a glacier, and so glaciers, massive, just ice pushing earth out of the road, just, oh, I just crush it, yeah, that was silly. The rocks that the glacier moves are ridiculous, they're absolutely huge. Alright, got some orbs. That big block should have fallen on top of my head. But we found ourselves another cave. Alright, we've got some pickups at the top here. I go here. Knock that one out. Oh, there's, there's spikes at the bottom. It's like, what was that sound from? Back across the top. And there's another one here. It's teaching us the mechanic of just, you know, leaning across. Okay, we definitely have to make room for that. Worth like five times more money. Need to talk to the bar lady. We can do that. I don't want to dig too much further. Ah, oh, not quick enough. I don't want to dig too much further down just because I've already filled up on loot. But I don't want to, have to go back up. Let's keep digging down and see what we find this way. Right, here's some rocks we're not going to be getting through. Okay, now we've got no room. It's a 16 stack. That's silver. Okay, let's go back up. We'll spend our money. Take us a couple of, a couple of moments to get up to the teleporter. Did Flyers finish uh, System Shock 2? He put about four hours into it. It was flying through. I have no idea. But I looked it up earlier, actually, on how long to beat the website, which tells you roughly how long it takes to beat a video game. And it said that most people took around 12 hours. So unless Fios is an absolute machine, I don't know if he beat it. He seemed like he was still playing when I jumped into stream. Lo and the short while Joe spent on the surface after hanging around the bar, usually by himself, scribbling away at his notes, I found this old napkin he doodled on. Looks sort of like a map, don't it? He marked something on it too. And I gotta go back down the cave, but let's sell the loot. What have you got for me? Got the monies. We're about halfway through. Alright. Unlock the teleporter. There we go. Now when I found... So you can buy your own teleporters now and set them down. But I found whenever I was about to put down my teleporter, I came across the... Like a next teleporter that was left on the map. I was like, ah, oh, okay. I'm just, just, I'll just use that instead. Teleporters, they cost three orbs. We've got loads of orbs. Oh, if I had one more dollar, I could buy two upgrades. Iron pickaxe. Let, let's see if we can quickly find, like just in the surface here. Actually, no, teleporter would be quicker. There, there must be like, yeah, right here. Okay, four dollars, that's all I needed. Dorothy, quick, take four dollars. Okay. Let's grab the big pouch. And we might as well grab a teleporter in case something goes wrong. So in the bottom left there, you've got the pickaxe. It's the current equipment I'm using. The bottom right, oh, I've gone the wrong way. Bottom right, uh, the device or item we're using. We probably, as you could guess, those will change as we go on. Go straight down. Get us some bronze. No, 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 you. Is there a diamond pickaxe in this game? I actually 
They've all got names. I don't think it's called Diamond, though. No one touch me, fella. I can't break into that surface yet. Oh, oh no. He's coming. He's coming. He, he walks down slopes. I don't know if a spike trap. That's interesting. Yeah, if there was a diamond pickaxe, that, that would be banging home to some other game. Quite obviously. Ooh, that's probably cutting it a bit fine. He's gonna fall right on my head. <laughs> Quick! Go for it! Oh, yeah, yeah! Totally not on purpose. Oh, there's a spike trap there. That was cheeky. I can, I can see the next mark on our teleporter. There we go. Oh, we're full up on water. But I can see a cave below us. That looks fairly big as well. All the fiery. All the fire. Nice kill. Yeah, I definitely MLG kill. It, it was total skill on my part. Oh, I just jumped through the door. I did it twice. All right. Let's get some water. Up we go. All right, okay. I'm really good at screwing this one up. I remember doing this one over and over again. Thankfully, with these chambers, you can leave the chamber and come back and it resets. So that's really nice of it. We've got the surface here. We need to bring it down. So essentially, you just gotta bring the whole thing down by two layers. I think. Maybe it's three. Oh, that means I can't get to there. Oh, okay, it's gonna come the whole way down, but I've made a pickle for myself. Okay, so what we do is we quickly leave. I know what I need to do. I just need to go through the top tier and it'll be fine. To go in, go out, we can try again. I like that it's forgiving with that. Okay, yeah, good luck with this power ox. Okay, if we hold down sprint, are we quick enough? Oh, we are. Jeebus. Look at the speed. Oh, yeah, you go that way. <laughs> that was close. And whoop. Up we go. Of course, $50. Yeah. And let's we'll get some more. Lovely. And I think that's everything. Unless there's like a hidden secret somewhere. I think that's everything in this room. Find my way out. Grab some water, because it's pretty valuable. Actually, if I grab that pickup, I need to... There we go. Oh, that didn't even give me full water. I got some light from it. Let's make our way down. There's another chamber of dust here. Are you? Uh. Uh. What? The karate... Level number three chamber. All right, this one's a bit bigger. Oh, okay, that's an automatically destroying. We can't get through that. We have to go this way. I think there's a bunch of levers we need to open for this next room. Oh, yeah, here they are. So there's three doors uh, and there's three levers. So we need to find essentially the way to get in there. So we can't destroy that. We can only destroy it from the other side. So questions will be being asked. I can't go through there. I have to destroy it from the other side. Oh. $50 ain't that much. Oh, I would take 50 bucks. But was I not excited enough? I, I can be excited for $50. And actually, later on the stream... Oh, come here, buddy. We're doing a giveaway, much like Flyos did, for a $5.99 GOG code. But as he said, we haven't been given the... Uh, given the things from them just yet. There we go, found a secret. Full refresh. Lovely. And so I'll send it off uh, once I get that. It's probably tomorrow, 12 hours away, you'll be able to get it from me. And we'll probably do that about the halfway point through the stream, so about 45 minutes from now. So here's one lever. Door number one is open. I'm keen to hear from you guys in the chat. Have you bought any games from the stream so far? Have you, sorry, not from the stream, from the sale so far. Have you still waiting for that one game in particular? So what would that be? to hear about your your sale sale watching sale I don't know what you'd call it 
out. Sneak up on this guy. A big fella here. Let's just leave him. I got some water. Those two big guys. Can I jump them? Oh, I can. Awesome. Leave number two. I think I picked up Banish. Banished is awesome. Uh, I have played a lot of Banished. I played a lot with my wife, actually, on my YouTube channel, and that was really cool. I'm hoping for a freebie. Oh, I'd love a freebie as well. That'd be pretty cool. I just want... There's no room for it. Yeah, they're killing each other off. That's fine. Uh, let's get rid of this little thing. Quick, run! <laughs> uh, hoo -yah! Oh, there's another one here. Baron for that. I don't even know if that's worth anything. Let's get rid of the silver. Chocolate! So it's pretty much... Pretty much chocolate. Okay, I have no idea how to say your name, but is it Rushensu? I, I don't even know if I'm close. Wasteland 2, Dreamful Chapters, Medal of Owner? <laughs> Medal of Honor. And Grimlock 2. I haven't played... I played Medal of Honor. I played the first Grimrock, but I heard great things about. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, I've heard great things about all of those, all of those games. What's the name of this game? This game here is Steam World Dig, and it's a really fun adventure platformer. And we're probably going to finish it in the stream. I can't get our way through there, but I can't get into here. All right. So we want to. We need to get up the top there. What it wants us to do is actually to break... Oh, I probably should give ourselves an easy exit by breaking this. It wants us to use our head. Use your noggin and think. Knock out the block with our head. Our hat is amazing, actually, by the way. I've never really spent time looking at the hat, but it's a great hat. Is that door number three? Awesome. But... Our hat is fine quality. It's sleepy, it's nearly 7 a.m. Yeah, I am surprised you guys are still awake and still kicking. It's nearly 7 p.m. where I am in my country, but then again, I have been awake for way too many hours. All right, let's make our way over to the door. Oh wait, this, this isn't the way. What are we doing? Of all the places I want to be, eh? One of them. Uh, who, oh, I just the run. Wasteland 2 sold out in five minutes. What was the discount on that? Do sales repeat? I know they... I don't know for sure, but I think there might be duplicates of some of them. If it's like previous sales, I'm pretty sure I saw repeats. I don't know the inner details. But I have a feeling there probably are repeats, because there have been repeats in early lines. They just have limited stock. So that, that would have been negotiated. They should repeat at least one. Yeah, I think it'd be at least once, especially if they want it to be fair to people. Man. I don't know whose head that is in that, that skull there, but that's a massive head. Oh look, I didn't even mean to find that, but I actually landed on it. We have the drill! Bizarre! This is the upgrade I use pretty much for the rest of the game. The drill, by pushing B, uses water, but is so much stronger. Man, it just chews through stuff. It's really awesome. Let me, go, let me know, guys, if that's too loud, because I'm going to probably be using the drill for the rest of the stream now. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm pretty sure we don't even have to go this way. I think it allows us to break out. Yeah, look at here. Make way across. Where's the door? Here it is. Oh, look! There's a block for a drill! But look, the drill just makes quick work of this. And we can now break through those rocks, which we wouldn't be able to before. But you probably notice one of the issues is that we're going to run out of water very, very quickly. So I, I might just affect the drill for a little bit. I'm going to need to use it to get through here, though. Yeah, we made it. Awesome. Lovely. Next room, and this here looks a bit creepy. I say so. 
Right, the penguin. I don't think I should even dignify that with an answer. But you are making me chuckle on the inside. Old world. Look at this place. Look at this place. Someone seriously needs to clean this up. It's all grim and dirty. I want this resource, whatever it is. I won't be able to pick it up. I take it back. So this tube system bloop, pops us back out on the town surface. And again, another quick traveling system. So lovely. While the drill, drill, goodness man, looks really powerful, enough to break really tough soil. You think that's what Joe wanted you to do? Break through to the old world below the mine? But there's riches down there. Nothing much shines though. Don't think they even have any notion of Valley Barock. That could mean a gold rush for us, which I'm sure they'd be happy with. Yeah, murderous will use teleport. I gotta say, I'll probably hold on to it for the moment, but there's a really good combination of teleports halfway down the mine, those shafts at the top of the mines, and then using your own teleports. It seems to be a good combination of you're not having to walk too long. You often have to walk a lot of that, unless you want to pay for loads of teleporters, but it seems always to be a decent amount. Yeah, sell your inventory. We're we'll definitely going to do that now. And we cleared out the old Yamanic tube as well. We actually had a cafe in town. In, so I'm in Christchurch, New Zealand. It has pneumatic tubes, and you, when you order burgers, they come through the tubes. So you see a burger going through the ceiling, and then it comes down next to your table and pops out. How awesome is that? The burgers are they're all right, but the tube system's awesome. <laughs> right, more reliable than those glowing whatchamacallits, teleporter. Don't worry, we're just re rearranging your DNA. You know, you'll be fine. Take care while exploring down there, though. Shiners can be quite dangerous. Not really the best place for a mine. Can't choose where you find a deposit, I guess, though. What do you have? So, we got $157. What do you think, guys? Do we want a steel pickaxe? So, two plus the ground damage. It means we can have more punch. Or go for a bigger pouch so we can try and get more money. We could also go for the lantern, but I'm not really interested in that. A steel pickaxe or a bigger pouch. Let me know in the chat while I take a drink of water. Uh, Bok. Fantastic music in the second world. Yeah, I, I actually really enjoy the music to this game. And it's the music I had when we first started the stream, just letting it play. It, it's really nice to listen to. A lot of people are saying patch, just because we've got the drill now. I think that's a good idea. I'm tired, so logic isn't my strong suit. So you guys can be my, be my, <laughs> my smart thoughts. Alright. So we've still got water. Probably should top up. Oh, it's like I had personally. Okay, let's break on down. Actually, there was that mineral right there. Pouch pays for itself. Yeah, you guys are right. Probably should have been a very easy decision. I love the names of the mineral chocolate and stuff. That's really cool. So, I think this should be our first shiner, which I just woke up with my drill because I'm silly. Uh, but these guys are quite frustrating. Oh, oh, nope, didn't time that one right at all. Come on, you. Anyway, I burned up. Uh, but those little guys do quite a bit of damage. But uh, lovely little variety of enemies we'll find across our travels. Uh, do they send carbonated drinks? They sent a little burgers. Oh, we well, don't get too close to that TNT. Actually, if I can set it off. I don't know how to set it off though without. I don't know if I hit it once. Now it's gonna go. Now it's gonna go. There we go. One drill. They sent it burgers and chips sort of thing. They didn't send drinks. I I was keen for them to send a drink through it, but I think you wouldn't get much at the end of it. Maybe if they just send it through quick enough, now that wouldn't work at all. <laughs> Can you kill with the drill? I'm pretty sure you can. So this guy, he's got dynamite. Uh, you've got to be pretty careful with these guys. By hitting them straight away, essentially a stealth kill, allows you to knock them out. I think that went for my head. No, it won't. But if you wake them up, eventually they're going to throw that dynamite and things go boom. Alright, let's get into a cave. Just read some of the chat. Dolomite. 
They are the Doritos, yes. They're essentially the Doritos. Can I knock out that? No, I can't. I can walk through here, but it's holding up that rock. So this one here, I need to make everything level so we can get through. So that's now level. I need to bring that one down. So I'm going to have to dig. Let's use the drill. Let's just make it so that quicker. Okay. So I gotta be extra careful with this. I wish my light was a little bit bigger so I actually see where I'm going. Let's go the whole way across. Let's go to here, actually. So what I need to do is I need to bring this one down to here. All right. Up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and run! This one's gonna come down with it as well. But there's a little shelf that holds it up for me, which is lovely. It's just kind of scary. <laughs> okay, that is all level. This one took me quite a few times the first time I was playing it. Oh, look at those orbs. Light. I remember why I saw this one out. It allows you to see all those minerals that are hiding uh, in the environment. Alright, and that's everything. Light is going down quite quickly. We don't have too many minerals though. I'm waiting for a particular upgrade that allows us to be much better at resource finding. You can see some minerals across here. I get just to the right spot. Right, cool, our light's completely out. Some lovely alternative names for the minerals in the chat. That's kind of amusing. Now anyway, let's go the way I can see. All right, there's some little exploity dudes down there. I'll leave them. Holy smokes! Hey guys, I uh, found TNT. I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna go back to the surface and get myself some light. Because <laughs> at the moment, actually, if I push back, does it show me my combined? Ah, oh, 194 dollars. That's kind of neat. Go back up the tube. Sell those rocks. Must be all kinds of exciting that deep down. Ah, uh, sure. Deep tank and plate armor unlocked. Awesome! Wow, nearly the next upgrade as well. You break it, you bought it. Alright, so steel pickaxe. Can't get a bigger patch at the moment. Uh, we can get plate armor, which increases our health. We can get deep tank, which increases our water. And honestly, I think that's what I'm going to go for. Can I get both? Oh, I can. Perfect. Deep tank, because allowing to carry more water allows me to use my drill more. And the drill is really, really cool. Um, and I'll grab the pickaxe as well, because that's always useful as a backup, I think. Plate armor, we'll come back for it. I, I will want to get some health soon though, because as you can see, I'm not the best player. I'm going to put it down to bad reflexes. Oh, I've actually got full water with the uh, the fresh purchase. That's kind of nice. Look at this. Look at all these minerals I missed. So a net. Hmm. Come around to get those. Oh, you wake up. Why'd you wake up? No, oh, well, you're awake too. Time for a pickaxe to the skull. Wow, wait. There we go. <laughs> Man, it really takes a long time to knock those guys out. See if we can stealth this guy. Nope, he's got dynamite. All right, time to go. Oh, you come down holes. I didn't realize you fell down. All right. Oh, hello, water. Health. 
Yeah, I need some health in a moment. Oh, I want it. Yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Uh, I'm just gonna leave you, actually. Creeper! You're not wrong, that's essentially what they are. TNT. Alright, and now that the objective marker... Well, we've gotten... Oh, a whole lot of TNT down there. Now that we've gotten close enough down, the objective marker has said, Hey, this is where you want to be going. Which is really nice. Nice for that guidance. They give us a tap, and then bold away. Love you, Chained in. This is Steam World Dig. Lovely little adventure platforming game. I think I might have to go up and over because I've dug too far down. A lot of. Maybe I'll down for that guy comes down. Oh, hello. Oh, no, the big guy's coming. Quick! Leg it! <laughs> Alright, thank you, Mr. Skeleton Man, with the two things of drink. Okay, just quietly. Now move away. I think he's dead. I think he's really dead. Okay. Whoop! The health, lovely. Um, Seventy-five dollars. Yeah. Okay. Water's below us. I'm fine with that. So we need to do some lovely jumps like that. This is just, just stupid. Like, why would you have it like that? Wow, I can't believe I actually got across there. That's rare for me to be able to do that in one go. Yeah, don't worry about the, you know, like, there's a house there and all sorts. Jeez, did you see a nuclear submarine? I didn't notice that, we'll have to see it on the way out. No, there's only a green glowing chamber down here. What could go wrong? This looks fine. Move away. Oh, no. Don't throw the team. Don't throw it. Just throw it then. Throw it and run! Okay. I need to kill you. No. Okay. Wow! That was awesome. Oh, I missed. It's a lousy throw. He essentially just threw it right down to the ground. Smash, 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 smash. Hoop. I don't need any more water. Awesome. Throw the drill for a bit because I love using the drill. Right, this guy here is our a lovely steam lord drunkard. Now he's going to throw bottles at us. Unless we smash him in the head. A giant pile of rocks. We have another upgrade train boat, which is great. A really nice... Oh, we've got dynamite, sweet. A, a, a nice flow of upgrades, fairly quick. Right, we're just over an hour in to the stream. We'll take a break in a moment, but we've got some dynamite now. I'm wondering if it wants us to go down here. In this situation here, where I can't actually, if I stand here long enough, is that going to blow up? But I think what it wants us to do is to throw dynamite. Actually, what's the dynamite key? It's Y. Okay. Okay. Ooh, yep, that definitely works. So the dynamite doesn't, like, doesn't take to affect directional blocks. Should I just leave that guy there? I'll just let him be. Uh, and move it. Something up there? Doesn't look like it. 
There's our nuclear submarine. Well, it's a, a nuclear something. I don't know if it's a submarine. It looks like just a very large bomb. It'd be great to get to the surface now. So what we'll do... Is that guy coming? Oh, you're kidding me. Alright, we've got to make, make him move it. Oh, I hit the thing! Jeez. Can you fall down that hole? Thank you. Okay, now I don't have to deal with you for a while. Okay, this is kind of a weird spot for a teleporter, uh, but let's roll with it. Bam! Uh, over here! The more of the stuff you dig up, the more certain I get. Your uncle placed it there for you to find. Like a trail of breadcrumbs for you to follow. Getting you ready for something. Something? What could it be? Alright, lots of upgrades. Awesome. Cool. Hey, Cranky. There's a scarce trace of shyness left up here. I could do an accent, but I'd obviously mash it to pieces. I'm not going to try. <laughs> Seeing what humanity looks like nowadays, it's hard to share your uncle's beliefs. The shyness had part of birth in the first steamboat. If true, what else are they capable of back then? Or well, what do you have then? Alright, just drop just drop that bombshell and just be like, alright, don't worry about it now. Damaging pickaxe. It does... It's an upgrade to increase enemy damage. So... For those times which has been taking us ages to knock out those enemies, uh, we could be getting that. So, got a couple of upgrades now. We buy dynamite and teleporters. But we probably don't really need those. Uh, we could buy the damaging pickaxe for extra damage. We could buy the coal lantern for more light and plate armor for more health. I'm probably just going to get plate armor because we're, I'm not playing that well. I need some more health. Uh, dual tank is more water again, and pressurizer means that when you do a steam steam jump, the water drains half. So that's pretty good as well. I've got 362 bucks, so I actually got a lot of money. So I feel like plain armor, dual tank, and pressurizer would be the way to go. What do you guys think? Let me know in the chat. I'm just going to grab a drink of water. I'll be back in a moment. I'll just let the stream run. I, my shortcuts aren't working, so I can't put the overlay up, which is really frustrating. But run to the chat what upgrades do you think I should have? Should I buy some... Like, I could buy a health pack for $2. Should I buy some dynamite and teleporters and go with it? And let me know in the chat, and I'll be back in just a moment. There you go, guys. What have we got? So, both plate armor and more health. Uh, pimp my wiki. That's an awesome wiki. <laughs> an awesome username. Gotta go to sleep now. The sun's coming up. Bother me and my monitors. Have a nice night. Hope you get some good sleep. Get the lantern. Axe and armor. Or well, lantern and armor. Alright. Agree. Armor is a must get. Yeah, I gotta say, let's, let's lock in the armor. So where's that? Uh, we can also now, now there's a choice. Do we want to go for sturdy armor? Do we really want to go for double the armor that we had, or do you think I'll be fine with plate? Put my wiki, we'll probably see you around if you're around this time the next couple of nights. Let's roll. I really like the water 
uh, having a large tank of water. Let's roll with that. Now what do we got? 162. We could get the pressurizer. Or more health. Plate's probably good for the moment. Yeah, plate's probably good for the moment. Uh, lantern, yeah, actually, now that you say that, the lantern is coal lantern. So for 75 bucks and for three orbs, we've got 18. We've got loads of orbs. We're doing a really good job at finding these orbs, which is great. I actually realize the damaging pickaxe is real expensive. That's 10 orbs and 250 bucks. But we won't want that. Coal lantern, let's grab that. So light's now four, water's now four, health is three. $87 left. I'm just sure of the pressurizer, which is a shame. But I think that's alright. So let's roll back to the teleporter. <laughs> Ordinary, undone Ordinary Undone it says, no need for more health, just don't get hit. Ah, would it be that simple? Right. I think that's enough now. If I could go back, I'll be able to buy sell that off and quickly buy the next upgrade. I want to buy the pressurizer. I like uh, having good water usage. All right, let's go. Let's go fill up our pouch. Then we go onto some TNT. So we've got some little, some mushrooms now. Essentially just spring pads. Now, I can make my way across and get that from the roof. But if I'd gone any lower, it would have been harder to get that set of, that set of orbs. Oh, yeah, yeah, and it's just 75 bucks. This guy's a real crazy man. Look at him. How many bottles does he have? He must have been drinking a lot. Glug, 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 glug. Down we go. Oh, hello. Probably should have taken a bit more care while jumping off. This is where we'll start finding, like, you'll see on the mini-map, we've just opened a... a, a <laughs> Shrek. That's awesome. A massive area of the map. You'll find that we'll get into areas where there's a lot of the map already explored. And just, they're filled with these like, massive caverns. And so navigating them is a challenge in itself. Coming out from underneath. Let's see if it's a bit easier. Hopefully I can get to this guy before he wakes up with his dynamite! Ah, oh, of course. This, well, alright, man. You know. Get out of my swamp donkey. He actually really, like, if he was just a bit greener. Oh my goodness. That was nearly an amazing throw. We need to go into that cavern. I just gotta get past Shrek. Gotta get out of the swamp. And yet, it, it pretty much is a swamp. Hey -oh, hey -oh, hey -oh. And oh, there we go. Okay. Right. So this area has these these things. They're essentially acid drops. And what they're doing is oh, how do I Oh I can destroy this. Did I even know that last time I played this game? I have no idea. Okay. Oh, I fell at the same time. That was cheeky. They're going to be destroying the blocks underneath that. Okay. I'm just going to take the health and just go for it. $100 upgrade there. That's great. Oop. Break through this. Eventually. Full upgrade. Now I should be able to... Break these. Oh, well, we'll break one of them at least. Let's get some orbs as well. Mate, mate, I missed you. Oh, some health. Wait for the next. Are they coming? Okay, we'll just go. There we go. Lovely. Right, let's, let's just quietly go this way. He hasn't seen us yet. Doesn't. Does it make sense that these acid drops didn't start eating away at the rocks underneath until someone was looking at them? Ah, uh, Let's not think logically here. <laughs> Wait, let's say they're a new... a new defense system. 
electronic active or well, activate I, I have no idea. Oh, I think we both triggered it at the same time. It didn't kill him! Jeebus, he's a he's a monster. Quantum locked acid. Yeah, let's roll with that. Start finding a lot more of this acid around the place now, sadly. Oh, I nearly got past you. Hello, everyone! Hello, Saboth. You're finally here. There are a lot of people here who should be asleep. But there are some amazing sail keeping them up. Oh, we have no more room. We've maxed out our loot. Oh, we've got a DNA, mate. Have you, have you thrown the DNA yet? <laughs> the dynamite, the DNA. What am I on about? All right, he knocked himself out. Doesn't look like there's a teleporter yet. And there's some good loot around here. We'll try and find a teleporter and come back. And remember... But there's some orbs here that we can pick up. We've got another cave at least to explore. Okay. Splinter Cell. There you go, we got him. Finally playing a bit better. There's a drop point there on the roof. Oh, wait, we came back. That's because I left the room. Now let's break through here. I can see some... This looks like it might be a bit nuts. There's some mushrooms there. Okay, we've got mushrooms. Coming out of our ears. Come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, I remember this chamber. Boing, 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 boing. Okay. Hup. Uh, Carl Rex, is there anywhere that tells you the stars have already occurred on late to the party? There is a forum thread. If you go to the forums of GOG, I think there's a thread there someone's keeping track. I, if it's one person who's been going the whole night long, or the, like all day, then he's an absolute machine. Uh, but I think they're trying to keep track of what's going on, but there might possibly be repeats of stuff, so don't worry too much. Oh, there's no room for that. Is that worth it? It's worth 100 bucks. So a stack that's worth less of it than, like, say this is only 34, we should grab that instead. Oh, jump across. Uh, where am I supposed to be going? Oh, look, orbs. Come to Papa. I oh, know, I gotta get through. Now it. Thanks, Sly Rabbit, for posting it, and Jim North. You, back off. Alright. You're up to the halfway point. Now, oh, I can actually... Why did I not grab this before? I can pick this up no matter what. What am I thinking about? But what we need to find, though, is that we need to find another teleporter. I've gone to the point now where I don't want to go up to the teleporter because it's going to take a while. But going down means I'm missing a whole lot of great stuff. Hopefully it's not too far away. It's got to be close. Actually, that I think about it. That green pool of water doesn't look too good. I'm nearly out of water though. Probably should pull onto my water a bit more. Oh, I found some more orbs. Looks like there's another big cavern there to the right of us. Maybe we'll make our way over there in a moment. It actually looks like this cavern is below us as well. Okay, how how deep is this gonna be? Grab the wall for a moment. Lovely. Can I touch this water? Let's find out. The answer is no. <laughs> oh look! There is something over here. It's just over to the right. All the way across. Oh, actually, let's go around the giant boulder, which could fall on top of our head. Golems and Shreks. You're not kidding. It is Golem and Shrek. Oh, what? I, I just... Oh I, oh, I just put myself into it. A silly situation. Okay. Let's go this way. Need more water. Let's use that axe. We're nearly there. Come on. Mm. 
There must be a teleport around this. There's a tank. How does a tank get down here? That's kind of crazy. That's a, that's a pretty giant giant tank of something else. There's a tank and then a tank, but they're not the same tank, if you know what I mean. Alright, where do we go? On the side here. <laughs> Mountain Jew. Frodo Penguin, you're like our so, so, I guess culturally aware there must be something over here. Our observer. Spotting how everything is just a <laughs> just a parody of something else. Why did I run through that? Like, seriously, why did I do that? I was just running for it. Okay. Oh, I missed. Huh! Ah! Golem, leave me alone! No, Golem! There we go. I don't think I have the ability to knock at that block yet, but we might be able to get through it soon. Wait patiently. TNT. Why do I want to destroy this TNT? Oh, look! Hey! Oh, there he goes. And... Hoya! Wow, this is kind of a scary place. Game go! Hey everyone, see the sign out there? Whoop, right there. I wonder what that's about. <laughs> Go away. Thank you. Need more room. What's this one worth? I have no idea. Really need to go back to the surface. Oh, it's anywhere 33. That was a mistake. Okay. Cross and up. Oh, it's totally confirmed. Totally confirmed. <laughs> For your source of Half-Life news, obviously, come to see more dig. Oh, looksy, looksy. Anybody see up the top there? Right. Boxes. I'm going to leave that guy there. Give me an upgrade. Steam punch. This is what I've been looking forward to. Continue exploring pretty much says that you can just keep making your way down the shaft. So Steam Punch uses water, if I stand over here, I can hold B, charges it up, and it fires it. And that can hit a block off to the side that I possibly wouldn't be able to reach across and knock out myself. So for example, here, bam, absolutely awesome, very, very useful. Ow, that wasn't awesome. I'm just not great with the jumping today. Now where was that block? Oh, there's one here. Can I can I punch through that? I don't know if I can. No, I can't. I wonder how I get through that. I might have to throw dynamite up at the top there. But over here. Oh, I missed. Come on. Alright, just I'll have to hit the TNT myself. Run away! Loads and loads of orbs. Terrific. Right, let's leave the tanks behind. And I hope for a teleport soon, but we could make our way back up to the surface. Ah, oh, that was dumb. Continue to keep exploring for the moment. The hold of nastiness down there, though. Alright, should have a bit the acid drops down. Oh gosh, you threw it. Oh, there is a. Some spikes down there. Alright, what's the torch? Is that gonna... Never mind, I answered my own question. I was like, I wonder if the explosion that's gonna blow it up. 
<laughs> oh, no, we're done. So you need to walk around with all those slots, give me an ulcer. I know, it's annoying me too, but I don't have a teleporter. And I, I, I just, I feel like, ah, oh, okay. You're going to make me go back. Let's do, let's go back. Ordinary also, look what you've done. You, you've, it's all upon you now. Oh, great. Uh, hmm. Maybe, maybe we're not going back. I don't know if I can get across that. I could possibly use the ladder, but I've never used the ladder before. Okay, the ladders don't work how I thought they would have been. Hey, Roto Penguin. Th this is definitely going to be, you know, the next speed run for this game. Oh. Well. How am I? Yeah, there. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Okay. So, I'm going to advise some civil wise people. What we're going to do. Oh, there'll be nothing there. We are going to buy. Oh, we probably can't afford it because I need to buy a couple of. Grab a couple of. Grab some teleporters. There we can. They use the orbs. I need to use the teleporter. Because you guys are much wiser than I am. I'm going to submit to peer pressure. GG. Goodness me. I am so tired today. That's alright. We're still having fun. Hopefully you guys haven't developed serious ulcers from my gameplay. Hey you. Watch out. What is the best way to go down? Possibly this way. So many of these big guys. More water. Wow, we, we just sucked that one, guy. Alright, there we go. Some more water. Oh, look. Oh. I wonder if I left that behind from last time. Possibly. Man, we were a long way down. I'm looking at my map. Oh, what? Okay, come on. Long day, start off the day. Oh, I was feeling unwell this morning, which is a real shame. Off, off to work? Oh, I didn't look at my mini map for that jump. That was a bit silly of me. I need to knock out the big guys, though. Let's go this way. I'm playing video games. I really enjoy playing this game, though. Right, looks like I've got a new game. Is that Quest for Infamy on the sale? No, that's pretty cool. Wait for it. Oh, washa! Ah, uh, we need to drill for the pot. How are the controls in this game on PC? Thinking of buying it, it, but it's cheaper on the 3DS. It's actually cheaper on the 3DS. That's quite interesting. Oh, I missed the pickup there. I wasn't paying attention. Reading the chat. The, I'm playing with the 360 controller. It plays really well on the 360 controller. I've been really enjoying uh, playing it. But you can also play it with... What the heck is going on down there? I don't know if I trust this guy over here. Just grab the light. No room for all my loot. How about this? It's better make you guys happy. We're gonna get so much money from this. <laughs> you don't have a 360 controller. It probably plays fairly well uh, with keyboard and mouse. I just, or I presume just keyboard, but I haven't played it with that. So the town has grown so much because we're bringing in so much money that Biff's here. Welcome to the wagon, partner. Biff is back. Yeehaw! Haven't been back since I was a young man. Hard times behind us, though. Where did you brought a bit of renaissance with you, Sonny? Biff Vegan goes, where are the dollars at? You know, he's just, he's just a money maker. Durandral Corpart uh, brings up a good point. Uh... PlayStation controllers, get the right drivers, it should work as well. Slide off, love the game, looks simple. Yeah, I, it's a really easy to approach and it builds you up very gradually and slowly. And I just find it works really well. It's The game in a sense kind of feels like an adventure game, but also at the same time a very long tutorial. It just introduces the concept slowly and genuinely. Hello Outstar, welcome, good morning. Yeah, it's... It's 7.30 here. 7.30 in the evening here in New Zealand. It introduces the concept at a very good pace. Parent Jade, where, where's all the mods? Was it like National Mod Alarm Bot like five minutes ago? You've all just arrived. Radio, what have we got? We've got the Tungsten Pickaxe. 
uh, more ground damage. We've got the Drill Master, so even better drill, and the Oil Lantern. Uh, these are some of the possibilities from Beth, but what I might do is I might come back to old Cranky here. See if, uh, see if he offers us anything really important that we've missed. Uh, I'm going to grab a teleporter, because as we've, uh, as we've found out so far, I am not too great with managing my loot. And for the mod to just arise, I may have caused ulcers in some of the viewers with carrying loot for such a long time. But we're, we're going better now. Right. Damaging pickaxe. I'm probably not going to worry about it too much. I'll try and avoid enemies rather than deal damage to them. Sturdy armor is probably useful. I'm going to grab that just because I've died a couple of times already. We've got the dual tanker pressurizer. These are just dropping lamps. So we've got all the main upgrades from this guy. The only one's damaging pickaxe, but I'm not going to worry about that. Alstar, want the raffle code? That would be great. Uh, actually, Alstar, if I... Could you actually just run the raffle? You probably have the power to. I've got an issue with my computer, and it's not wanting to uh, behave. And so it'd be awesome if you're able just to run the raffle and send the code off for me. That would be amazing. What have we got here at Biff's place? Some of the boys will sneak down. Some of us will come back and tell stories of glowing lights and darkness. Trying to side the rest of that with ghost stories, most likely. Of that's so cool. Okay, so Alistair's going to open up our raffle. And so you guys know the drill if you've been tuned in for a while. But we've got a, a $5.99 code for plenty of GOG games. Uh, once she opens it up, type in exclamation mark raffle. And you'll be good to go to enter the, enter the draw. And then after some time... Uh, Alistair, I'll let you actually, you can manage it. She'll say when the raffle's going to, to close. Don't worry, uh, I can't even read, it's so dark. Biohazard, we haven't even opened the raffle just yet. And uh, she'll pick out a winner, and you'll she'll send off a code to you. Thank you so much, Alistair, for doing this. I'm going to have words with my computer later. Right, while you guys do enter the raffle, let's have a chat to Beth. Tungsten pickaxe 200, we've got 462. So we can get two of these. The pickaxe, the drill, and the oil lantern. Um, probably the top two. And after that, you're still in your pajamas and making a raffle. Hey, you've been a great help, so that's really good. Uh, let's go with the drill master. And we'll also go for the tungsten pickaxe. There'll be times when we're out of money. Uh, I'm not gonna, it says on the mini-map to take this back, but I'll take the teleporter. Because that goes a lot further down. All right. Oh, <laughs> I, I knew that was gonna happen. Right in the head. Oh, thank you, pops up the next unlocks. The gigantic pouch and the water seal. Man, that was $304. That's actually quite a lot of money from those three items. Biff, you probably have the gigantic patch for 200 bucks. Lovely. Hey guys, I can now carry more loot for, <laughs> for longer. <laughs> Much to everyone's disapproval. Okay. That actually screwed me over. I can't hit that now. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I'm so tired. Actually. Wait, wait, what? What? I don't understand. Where'd the TNT go? Not there anymore. Okay. Oh, man, that actually goes through quite a lot. Right, I go. Last chance, guys. Put exclamation mark raffle in. Looks like Arsenal will draw in a moment because we've got loads of entries. Yes, you're totally right, Abig. Now I can even I can lose even more loot. Isn't that great? So we're about halfway through the stream, guys, and after this, it is Jordy Jones with Alpha Centauri. Can I knock that guy off? Doesn't- Oh! I can shoot a lot further than I can. Can I knock him back? I can! Go down, Sonny! Oh, come on, I gotta get the guy to throw the TNT in there. It's Jordy Jones! Throw the TNT! Throw the TNT! Throw it! Come on, man! Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna throw some in there then. Like, have it. Eat of them, wait. <laughs> What are you going to be playing Alpha Centauri? The old Sid Meier's game. Would be pretty neat. Uh, let's play smarter. Around TNT. 
for some uranium. Thank you guys for being so patient with me. You can tell that I've had a long day. I'd be uh, putting up with my awful plane and that makes you feel a lot better on the inside. These guys are pretty suicidal. Lovely. Now, if you like collecting every little bit of loot, I'm probably driving you mad. I'm not grabbing all of them, I'm kind of... Because I want to finish the game within the stream. I think that'd be... Actually... Okay, back. Man, it's kicking off down here. Uh, I'm not grabbing every piece of loot, but I'm trying to grab enough. That's important. Radio, bank switch has won the raffle. Make sure you post into chat so we can verify that you're actually here. I don't know, say something like banana or something, just something that we know that you're here. You gotta follow the channel, man. Make sure you're following the channel so you get notified when we're going live. Because we're going live, well, constantly for the next... On oh, how long we're in? We're probably about the 18th hour, so... I did math for another 78 hours, I think that's right. But, there were loads more streams. We generally try and do a couple every day. Thanks, which wow, cool thanks. There we go. Oh, that actually got further than I thought. Ask that will send you a code. Awesome, guys. But don't worry, there'll be plenty more giveaways uh, as other other streamers take hold of take hold of the channel. It sounds like we're seizing control. Uh, I want to I want to blow it up, but I don't want to blow it up my face. So, all right, bounty pad, you you. You're not working with me here. Ah, there we go. Can I shoot through it? Can. Oh. All right, cool. That worked. Actually, like really well. And we go. Number three. Oh, I need mine. Need to break through it more. Come on. There we go. Secret area. So this here lets out these creatures uh, out into the fray. I won't pick that up, upgrade up yet. I'm just going to let these guys walk out. They'll start having a massive fight. If... Oh, cool. They killed him. I was about to say, if they kill the... If they kill Shrek, that's what we're calling him. That'd be great. All right. Seems to be an upgrade back here as well. Some minerals. So let's grab this. Topaz, 150. Lovely. Oh, I might speed this up a bit. Okay, throw at me now. Hoo no, throw at me now. Oh, okay, obviously I have a bit of range. Um, off we go. I don't think I've used down punch once while playing or anything. Yeah, it's it's. Oh, I would say crazy. But I guess the job done. There we go. Got them all. Bouncy pads. Man, this chamber is huge. So that, for those of you who tuned in, this is Steamworld Dig. I have played the game before, like quite a while ago, about six months ago, and. I have no idea if we're on part of finishing it, but we hopefully will finish it on stream. Where is this guy going? I want there we go, underneath him. We'll try and keep the pace up and hopefully we'll be able to finish it on the stream, which would be really neat. And we could submit probably one of the worst times into Speed Demo's archive. <laughs> okay. How am I gonna get that? I don't think I can get that at the moment. There's a platform below me. Bounce across. And bounce off the wall, up we go. And get my pickaxe and try and stealth kill this guy. Lovely. A new upgrade chamber. Lovely. Oh dampness. What does that mean? What does it mean? Secret area. No room. Okay. 
Can we go back? Uh, that's worth 132, 144, 199, 144, 39. Well, we're all gone. Anything up here? I don't think so. Why does a robot need clothes? Wow, we're getting deep here. <laughs> like, I'm actually kind of wondering myself now, like, that's that's a really good question. I have I have no answer for you. Because they look cool. Okay, we'll go with that. He does look pretty awesome. Like that bandana and, and the hat. Breezing in the wind of, of the chamber. I don't I don't know why it's so windy in the chamber, but alright. Full dampeners, I presume just lower. I don't know if it shows us in the menu here about our upgrades. But it would I presume it lowers the amount of damage we take when falling. Okay, let's just buy that up so it's gone. I can feel better about it. Was it all for an upgrade? Okay, that, that might not have been worth it. Oh. oh. I don't think I have the ability to make that jump. And I don't mean it in terms of player skill. Oh, jeebus. I mean in terms of... Don't need that gun enough water. In terms of the abilities that I have. Oh, we need to go back to the surface. That's right. Where's our next teleporter? Should we put another teleporter down, or should we keep going down, or should I go all the way back up? I don't, I don't have everyone in the chat say, Jack, please go up. Why did you keep going down last time? Man, that's really effective. I've never been doing... I, I don't think I've done that before, like smashing my way up. Coming through? Just don't mind me. Please don't die. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Good thing about this game is that it doesn't really punish you. You can go pick up your weight afterwards. Man, why is my teleporter next to like four explosive barrels? I'm not really good with forward thinking. How far does the old world stretch, you think? I don't know. How far do you think? $919. Absolute wonder oh, no, done, Jack. Please, I have such power. I'm like, Mwahaha. but no, I want you guys to be enjoying yourself as you're watching the stream. I want to go spend it at Biff. Want to be partner? Right, I am thinking humongous pouch and the drawatron. I think those would definitely be the ones to go for. Ordinary undone. Shovel Knight is the best in the game. I've played yet. I did a stream of that uh, later last year, and I gotta say, it was absolutely amazing. Tight controls, like, kind of like this game. I felt like it had an amazing sense of polish. Um, guys, what upgrades do you think I should get? We've got water seal plus 50% water from pools, so we get a lot more water. Uh, max water, max health, max light, humongous patch drill, or silver pickaxe. I think we'll definitely go for the pouch. We know that's always good. But what should I get for my other one? Uh, none of you have you got any achievements, Jack? So, for this game, I'll have to, the long version. So, I have a YouTube channel, I cover lots of indie titles, and often when I contact developers, sadly, they give me Steam keys. And so, I play, I have played this game uh, late last year, and I finished it on Steam. And there was a couple of achievements for that. I got quite a few, but there was an achievement for... I, uh, guys, I know, I need the patch, but what do I want on top of the patch? Look, I'll just buy the patch now to get the point across. There we go. Uh, one of the achievements was to speedrun the game in less than 2 hours and 30 minutes. And I finished it in 2 hours 40. And I was really annoyed. Well, not annoyed, but just kind of like, oh, I didn't see the achievement until I finished. And I didn't realize I was actually so close. Uh, I don't know how we're going to go in this run, though. I There is still quite a while to go, I think. It's been a while. Well, what have we got? Silver pickaxe. Drill. Drill. Water. Bastion and Transistor. Play Bastion? I haven't played Transistor, but it looks awesome. Max Water. Yeah, I think the Max Water is the one to go for as well. Oh, look. Water Seal. That only costs uh, orbs, so we can definitely grab that. It's a lot, but I think we can definitely grab that. Yeah, Water could have used Punch and Draw a lot. Yeah, you guys are actually accommodating for my playstyle. That's nice of you. 
And wait just quickly before I drive you guys insane again. Oh, we have a teleporter. Why did I jump? Please don't hate me, guys. <laughs> oh, boy. I am very, very tired. That's right. As we make our way down, I hope you've been enjoying the Insomnia live stream. This is SteamWorld Dig. Uh, there have been plenty of other games played as well. After this is Geordie with Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. Just before me was Fios with System Shock. So you put four hours into it, which is pretty, pretty intense. Uh, and you can go watch the VOD of that on the past, the the past broadcasts. But I don't know why you would, because we've still got like 80 hours or 70 hours left of this, this marathon. I will be streaming at the same time, not tomorrow, well, 24 hours from now. But pretty much, this is a massive drop. You, you can tell it's going to be a massive drop. I can see it on the screen there. It says it just wants me to drop, so I feel like we should just drop. Uh, I'm streaming not 24 hours from now, but 48 hours from now, and I'm going to be doing Banner Saga, which is a game I haven't played before. I've put half an hour into it to check it out. But it's going to be a blind run, unlike this, which I know the game. And so I'm really looking forward to that. But what I'm looking forward to is the night after that. So three nights from now, uh, 48, 72 hours from now, I'm doing Multiplayer Madness, loads of my, well, three of my friends. I say loads of my friends. It makes me sound like every friend I have. Three of my friends are coming over. And we're going to be playing Screen Cheat, Spelunky, and Risk of Rain. There'll be, there's going to be a, a webcam, there's going to be a giveaway, and there's going to be party hats. So why don't you want to be there? It's going to be awesome. Right, let's drop. Oh, it's flat. All right. This is what I found to be the most unnatural area, but after a while, really grew on me. Now, I think I can remember where to go. I got it wrong. That's a shame. I we got an emerald. This is a very different feel, as you can probably tell. It's it's mechanical. And yeah, none of it. We are near the end. I actually thought we were a lot further away, but now that I've seen this, I, I realize we are much closer to the end than I, than I thought, which is good. If we can finish it, it'd be great. And then we'll jump into my backup game. And now, to get into the chamber, it's the one on the far left, I'm pretty sure. GD Spectre, that's pretty futuristic. You're not wrong. I don't know how you get more futuristic than that. You have the full damage damper, full damage dampener thing. I can't remember if that negates all full damage or just or just some. Right down in here. Oh, hello. Pepper light. A very a very crafty man. In we go. Radio. New enemies. New landscapes. This is going to be pretty fun. Uh, if I can break through here quickly. Go away. Let's open that up. Cool. We've got another chamber through. Let's sell this and see if we can buy another upgrade. And we'll make our way through. What the mine goes deeper? Is that frost and drama? How is it even possible? Anything to be down there? That depth is molten rock. What could be there? Whoa! The conspiracy. Please be careful. Something must be cooling the earth down. It definitely doesn't look like it's cooling down up here. It's pretty hot. You should really explore whatever's down there. Explore Vectron. Improved hydraulics. Upgrade unlocked. And we're at 628 bucks. Thank you, Moobot. You autonomous machine for dropping down the link on GG's page. You can grab this for yourself. Very neat game. Throw caution to the wind, Pilgrim, and let that pick fly. Yeah. All right. Super tank. I really want to go for super tank. Oh, actually, that maybe that one. Thinking about it, like a plus one water would increase it up to six. So that's like a. Uh, oh gosh, I can't do math. Like a 16% increase. Well, this is minus 33, so that's kind of the better investment, I think. Uh, so. I'm going to go for that. As someone mentioned earlier, I am going to... Well, I'm playing a lot of drill and water, and that is something that I probably should be investing into. All right. Chat. What are you saying to me? Molten rock. Lava. Yeah. Too much. The lasers remind me... Oh, really long teleporter. Lasers remind me of the Stealth Blast Deluxe. Did anyone play that one? I haven't played it, but I definitely know what it is. I've seen quite a lot of it. 
You there. Go away. Alpster, have fun at work. I'm sure we'll have fun here as well. Ooh! That was close. Let's see, guys, if we can finish this game off. We've got just over an hour left. We should be able to do it. So, let's trigger these guys here. I want to just demonstrate what happens to them. These blocks here are the, the, the blocks that... Like, the rocks from before that drop down your head. Uh, but the blocks above me, as you probably notice, one hit to get away, but they actually come back. Which is... I guess a little bit different. So often, oh, that was the wrong tool. There will be like a path you can follow. We need to be grabbing some minerals along the way. Oh, enemies are hard to hit. Go for armor. Brana, you are not wrong. Oh, like in a situation like this, I can't actually knock it out, but what I can do is push my way out. I love using the punch. It's just so satisfying to use. Uh, let's swap this guy out. You there! What's this room? This is just, just a lamp? Oh, mineral. You there, come down. Lovely. Okay. Chamber. There's no water, so we should be fine to drop. Mineral here. Oh, oh! You there. Quick enough for the turnaround. Oh, wow. That enemy just got munched. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get that resource because the thing's going to land on that. Oh, okay. But if I was quick, I wouldn't be able to get it, but never mind. Oh, 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 hello. Okay. Oh, they didn't kill him? Come on. There we go. Now, these guys down here are a bit crazy. I can trigger them, though. Woo! Oh, missed. If you, if you can trigger them from a distance, I need, need to use the punch. You probably shouldn't have used the pickaxe. Uh, what, it what it does is they just blow up, really. I want to get out before they come back. Uh, it, it, it blows up, and it's essentially like those dynamite creatures from before. They can be really useful if you use them tactfully uh, to clear out large spaces. Not this as much though. The laser is pretty hard to maneuver around. Terraria overheated your PC. That's... I gotta say, like, nearly impressive. Too much cat hair on your CPU. That could, that could be a possible possible reason. Don't do it! Alright, got through that one. Actually, that that's like perfect for me to get to these resources. Not that they're worth that much. No, it's not a laptop. I have a really old laptop now. If I open up at least two tabs in Chrome, it's pretty much game over. So it can't handle much more than that. But I thankfully got a much nicer PC now for streaming and recording. Knights and Merchants. That game, from what I've seen in the chat, I don't actually have the front page of GD open, but it seems like that game's been on the front page of the sale for quite a while. You've been digging for a while? When do I hit Bower Rocks? Well, I'm in New Zealand. Like, I, I fight them on the way to work. I'm sure we'll find them after a while. Wow, that drop was a lot further than I thought. Oh, actually. Hello. There we go. Alright. What could go wrong in this room? <laughs> it's only guys with dynamite. I keep calling it DNA and uh, these laser things. Uh, that didn't really work. Oh, it kind of worked. 
Oh! Quickly jump! That was poorly done, but we made it. Dracula Trilogy. I have not heard of that game, to be honest. But Evan Eden, Eden says it's a pretty good series, so I'll take your word for it. I might make it just right. There we go. Keep digging, man. Keep digging. Uh, does Tell even work in here? It does. So I'll chuck down a uh, teleporter fairly soon, actually. Go, 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 I think on average the money we're getting is like the losers all right. Destroy you. Right. Are those those guys that go down? Ah. Oh. Look at that. Fun with them. Oh, don't fall down that hole. That would be disastrous. Uh, let's go to the side. The big cavern on the map here. Oh, we've got our new location to go to. Right, that's going to open up, and it's, yep, going to get shot in the head from that, but that's all right. Oh, you hear that? We've got a laser beam. What I might do is I'll drop the teleporter here. Let's get to our stuff. This is highly precious. Highly, highly precious. Over a thousand dollars. Awesome. Next upgrade, I want the gold. Swift pickaxe. Alrighty. Uh, Biff, what do you got for me, bro? Swift pickaxe is pickaxe speed. Speed! Aerodynamics, partner. How do you make an aerodynamic pickaxe? Like, to be honest. But we're not really using the pickaxe very much. Uh, harder enemies, someone pointed out. Uh, who, I think it was Spectre or Fala, if he's still here. I can't remember who said it, but someone said I needed more armor because enemies are tougher. I agree. I don't want to die. You guys hate seeing me die. You guys also hate seeing me carry on loot. I found out. Let's hit the drill a ton because I've been using the drill quite a lot. And might as well go for the super tank. Max water is always good. More water I can take. Look at that water. Oh, so much water. Lovely. Guys, I'm going to take a very brief break. I'm just going to go quickly grab another drink and... I'll be back in probably a minute, but how about while I'm gone, quickly post what country are you from? I would be really keen to see, like, where everybody's from. It'd be really neat to uh, hear where you are watching the stream from. I'll see you in a minute.
Righty oh guys, let's jump into our last third of this block of the stream. But Jordy Jones will be be here in an hour to play Tamar's Alpha Centauri. It seems like a lot of you guys post in the chat, which is really cool. It's been really neat doing the stream. It's awesome to be uh, have everyone together, it's kind of like a neat community. What have we got? So wow, man, there's a lot of posts. Take some fluids, leave some fluids. They're not wrong, Roto Penguin. Italy, Finland, Europe, US. Man, you guys are doing well in Europe to be well. Actually, there's probably morning for you guys there now. Czech Republic, Minnesota, USA, Germany, Australia. Hey, there we go. Nanosphere. Thank you. Representing. Uh, Australia. I'm from Australia, born there, but all my family's Kiwi and I live in New Zealand now. Uh, so I, I'm essentially a New Zealander, but Australia is a pretty special place for me. US, Chicago, Denmark, Finland, Canada. Yeah, so uh, the stream is going. I just needed a break, and my OBS is being frustrating and not allowing me to put up my break overlay. So that's all right. Love the music for the game. It is really good. Great to see everybody from all over the world tuning to the stream. The plan is for the next hour to finish this game, probably at this rate, and then we're going to jump into Infested Planet for the last little bit. So let's continue on. I think how did we get out? Did we teleport it? Yeah, we teleported. Right, let's go. Oh, wait. Did we spend all the money? Yeah, we spent all the money. We got $21 left. Let's go into the cave. Right, grab a boost. Alrighty. So, I have played this game. It has been a while. And about six months as a while. It's okay, no one is perfect. Oh, come on, Nano. Then again, not that I watch much cricket, but I did see the score from the other day, and it was close, mate. It was close. Let's work our way up. Oh, <laughs> I thought I would have missed it. I it only took a little bit of damage, but hey, look, secret area. That's pretty neat. I love you see my punch. It's probably like one of the least effective ways of getting rid of these blocks, but. I really enjoy using it. California, that is awesome. Glad to see you guys from joining the stream from all over the world. GG is a pretty awesome community. Is he coming down? He's coming down. Awesome. I look at my health back. Great. Got that. This area, I'm pretty sure when I remember playing it, this is one of the hardest areas to to find secret zones, just because the block you're looking for uh, was hard to pick out. It just looked like one of the other mechanical blocks. But all that, I'm pretty sure that was the case when I played this game earlier. Right, let's make our way up. Oh, they chucked the dynamite! <laughs> Jesus. Guys are nuts. Okay. Up we go. I want the pickups. Oh! Oh, they go through. That's brutal. Um, let's do it this way. Whoa! Nailed it. Nailed it. Mineral detector! Finally! This is like... I thought this was the first upgrade. And that's... I'm going to put put this down to the reason why I'm doing not too great with grabbing those minerals. On the mini-map, look for those purple dots. Those are where the minerals are. And it's so useful. Especially for finding secrets and everything. Going back, it just shows you where everything is. It's so great. Kalanonikin gave up on going to sleep. Alright. I like the star. So there's a block there. Do you get to it from... Oh, what? That's a block there? I totally missed that. So, does that mean that one to the right of me? It is! Well, look at that! Would you look at that? that having the mineral detector means it's a lot easier to, to find those out. Okay, let's get the drill out. My trusty drill. Some money. Interface is just lovely and 
clean, tells me how much money I've got when I pick up stuff. So, for example, $407 total. There, it says there's actually a bit of loot just over here. I'm wondering where the... I'm wondering how to get to it. Just below us. That's right. Your drill will pierce the heavens. Pretty much. Down we go. Oh, how did I clip that? I'm playing with the analog stick. If I was playing with the D-pad, I'd be a lot more precise, but I often play with analog sticks in the games I play. Now, I think I have to go this way. That's how I have to go. Right. This block here. There we go. Emerald. Lovely. Oh! These are the blocks that break. I wasn't ready for that. Oh, I oh, wasn't ready the second time. Okay, this is the generator block. Breaking that allows us to break the, the force fields. And if you remember before when we entered the cave, there was a force field blocking us from continuing on. We're now going to have a whole lot of lasers and force fields. It's going to cause me loads of damage. And so hopefully we are to get through them fine. Just fall down right on top of the door. Oh, you have waffles? Rue sent you, can you, like, can you send some to New Zealand? Like, just put them in Courier Post. I'm sure it'll be fine by the time it gets, gets here. Uh, quiet tip, the 360 D-pad sucks. Yeah, it's not that great. The, oh, I just jumped back into the room. The new Xbox One controller is much nicer to use. I don't have an Xbox One or an Xbox One controller. But, uh, my brother does, and it's, it's a really nice controller to use. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Alright. Some lovely loot there. And, and using that mineral detector has made it just so much easier to plan out a route and execute it, essentially. This guy's going to pop open in a moment, isn't he? Oh, wow, he actually can break through, but he will drop down, I think. Oh, no, he'll stay there. Okay. Oh, but I want the mineral. Ah, thought I could get away from him in time. Lovely. Is the drill water powered? It definitely is. Uh, so the drill uses water power. The punch uses water power. And my steam jump, which is the special thing I do when I like hold down. I can do it here. Like, and I boost myself up. That uses a little bit of water as well. Um, and that's why I've been putting a lot of upgrades into... Uh, into being able to... What's the fuck that? Have more water, because it's made it a lot easier. Here's one of them. Now, I don't know if this is the only region where you can... That was not to plan. <laughs> uh, the only region which has these teleports, I thought the other areas did as well. Uh, but it's a place where you can come along and you can you don't have to use one of your teleporters. There's already one of them there, so that's really good. Side buff, I modified a D-pad in the 360. I would love to know more about that. I should go look it up later. Uh, I'm going to stand back to this one. Because we've known how horribly I've played. Let's use this free teleporter and get back to the surface. Cell or a lovely loot. There are things living down there. What are they? Animals? You think that they're smarter than that? Ah. Uh, yeah, ouch. But hey, I survived. Yeah, that's good. So, cool. I think this is the last building to appear. So, this is Dandy. Adonde. Alright, so let's go check Biff out first. There's a sure lot of things unknown about what's down in those depths. Still, it's worth exploring. We found some great stuff. So, far pa What? Pa -da -da? I, I can't even pronounce that word. Don't look a gift steam horse in the mouth, I always say. That's a confusing sentence. What have we got? We've got armor, and we know how bad I play, so that's probably worth it. Now, uh, we can go out a lantern. Armor and lantern. There's some pickaxe upgrades, but you've seen how little I use my pickaxe. Uh, I can also buy health. 
I skipped through some of this dialogue. Come on, Cranky, we're gonna speed through this game. Seventeen dollars. I'm just gonna spend the seventeen dollars and get full health. Uh, I'll buy the teleporter as well. What do you guys think? There is a link. I shall look at that later on. That's interesting. Dandy, welcome, dear sir. Look at that mustache. Like I gotta say, that's a handlebar mustache. It's probably nearly as wide as the bike would be if you were on a bike. You could hold your the handlebars of both your mustache and the bike at the same time. But you probably look <laughs> really bad. That pickup looks so sweet. Get it just for the swag, Frola. Uh, that is tempting. Uh, Danding, I do believe you've been wasting away devoid proper commercial alternatives. Not to worry, good fellow. Looking for impeccable wares and service. A dandy Alexander is whom you seek. It's about time someone brought a bit of class to this town or establishment. Do you not agree? So, the Garnet Pickaxe. We're probably have to buy the other pickaxes first. We can get it. The Drill Star. More drill damage. And the Soccer Punch. I can punch with more ferocity. So it does ground damage and more enemy damage. That's good, because it's what I've been using to knock out enemies. So guys, in the chat, probably for the final time. Drill. Sucker Punch. What was our other alternatives? Uh, wrong person. Biff. You're my man. For low, low prices. Armor or oil? All those pickaxes as well. Let me know in the chat. Which one is the one to go for? I'm thinking health. Because I'm not amazing. I am tired. And sir, you are being mined. Nice, nice work there, Jim North. Have you played Sir, You Are Being Hunted? Because I haven't. But uh, that game looked pretty neat, but probably a bit too spooky for me. The drill, of course. Yeah, I think you've seen how much I've been using it. It's probably the way to go. Drill, drill, drill. Wow. Three in a row for drill. I go for health. Let's see if we can go for both drill and health. Why would a soul dwell in the dark? I do believe they must all be somewhat simple. Do you not agree? Yeah, we should be able to go for the drill. And the armor. Since you saw that damage. Ah, oh, we just, just gotta just, just avoid that. That didn't happen, did it? Thick armor. <laughs> Let's hope I survive for a little bit longer. What's the time? It is... Quarter past eight here, but we've got 45 minutes left. Actually, we used to teleport, didn't we? 45 minutes to finish this game. Let's do it. Wrong weapon. There we go. Oh. Suck this dry. Okay. Punch this guy in the face. And hey -o. Spotting where the... Oh no! Oh! Oh wow, actually we lost like no health and I just got it all back from that pickup. That's incredible. I was hoping, don't jump the gap, don't jump the gap. Uh, looking for these blocks which, whoa, those go the other direction. And he's shooting to the ground. Uh, make it really quick work these times. If you can, come on, let's just go to the punch. If you two on once. Oh gosh, maybe not, come on. By hitting those uh, single hit blocks, you can get through them really quickly. Oh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Now, quick! Oh, I got quick light. Up. Uh, let's go this way. Okay. There's two minerals down the bottom. Oh, you're kidding me. Alright. Let's go for it. Oh! You just gotta die. Okay. We should be safe in here. We technically should be safe in here. Now we're gonna get out. Alright. Take a drink. My voice is getting a bit harsh. This is actually the longest live stream I've ever done. Three hours. I've only done two hour ones before, so I'm glad I'm still awake. And I actually feel a lot more energetic than I did at the start. I want to go for oh, That is pretty much this whole playthrough. Hup, hup, hup. Oh, we need we need more, more, more grunt. That didn't work. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. We made it out. Wow, that was very poorly planned. There we go, we made it. Lovely. Is that the half water though? There's some minerals over here. I hear the enemy, I don't like to fight. Oh no, he's gonna come down the hole. He is going to come down. Oh, the next, the next place to go to is here. Can I, can I, f no, I can't. No. <laughs> I was going to say, can I jump across and fire down? Because that would be, that would be neat. Uh, but I, I didn't manage it, as you saw. Oh, hello. That's lovely, man. You just gave me some free water. Another force field. Let's drop down over here because you know what's going to happen to me if I go the other way. Oh, Jackie J Punch. Lovely. And more water. Awesome. Okay. Some force fields. Oh, hello. So this guy here seems to become active when I get close to him. Up, 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 up. Wow. I'm glad I'm paying attention to that. Oh, hello. Now, when do you turn off? Do you turn off? Oh, hello. I don't think I can destroy him. I think it just stuns him. Oh, okay. That was not needed at all by me. Oh, I hit the roof. Oh, we made it. I got that water. Lovely. Um, we should be able to make this jump. There's no water below me. I think, but the annoying thing is that the, the screen doesn't show if there's actually a, a force field down there. Right, I think I know what this is. I think this is double jump. Stack dash. I think I'm completely wrong. Double jump must be later. Oh, I know what it is. Stack dash is just a different way of putting the word double jump. Because I'm wondering what type of upgrade would get me out of that situation. Now, I'm wondering if I can be sneaky. Oh, I can be sneaky. Probably the best move I've made all day. Um, hmm. How do I... Hmm. You there! Oh, he jumped! What was that? Wow, that guy went for ages. How do I get into here? Is it like one of these? It looks like it's the bottom, but I don't have any like dynamite to break through it. Well, I've got, I've got dynamite, but it's not going to hit. Hey, Karis, thank you for joining. We are coming up towards the end of good old Steam World Dig. We're probably going to finish it, but I've got a backup game for the rest of the stream, which is great. Right, laser, do your worst. Yeah, you kind of did. Wow, I, I destroyed it. Oh, I forgot. When you do that that ability, the see this little spark from where I do the jump? That actually does damage, which is awesome. Rocket punch up from there, up punch from the bottom. I can't up punch from the bottom, I'm pretty sure, because... i show you guys. Do you see those marks on that rock? It means you can only do it from one side. Like, if I punch it up, it does nothing. I hit it with my head, it does nothing. you got to punch it up. So, like, dynamite will do the job. There might be, like, another passage, which means you can go around and, like, drop dynamite on it or something like that. This place is absolutely, like, massive. All right, let's go up. Booyah! Oh, look! Look what I found! Oh, nope, no, I missed it. Oh, wrong thing. Alright. The generators have been blown. Is there any good minerals to get from around here? Oh, that's still active. This guy will still be active. Nope. Alright. 
I love these rubies for three hundred dollars. Never watched anything down here. Oh, well, that's the answer to that question. Secret area, lovely. Let's make our way out. While this game's really fun, I'd be really keen to show you guys the festive planet. I think that game's really cool. Oh, I made it! It looks like there's a resource under there. Oh, well, we'll keep going. I'm gonna get as much water as I can. Ah, oh, maxed out. By opening up that chamber, like you can see how much it's just unearthed itself on the map. Uh, really useful. Really, really useful that ability. Okay, no more room. I think that's time then for. Oh. Can I put it here? Can I put it here? There. Thank you. Really bought Shovel Knight. That is a great purchase. I thoroughly enjoyed playing, playing that game. How much more can you fit? I really wonder what Joe had in mind sending you the deed, preparing the caves. Yeah, yeah, look at all that money! Gigantuan pouch! Like, seriously, it's like I'm carrying a trailer behind my car now. Ah, refreshing water. Smashing luck, dear fellow. A bold and new. Nice to see displacement of the norm and what passes for fashion here. I really love that fashion law at all. Gigantuan patch. It's it's pretty big. It's also very expensive. But I've got enough for that. And the hyper drill. It's probably the way to go. Alright, that was quick. Uh, we've only got three orbs left. That's only one more teleport. I need to be finding more of those things. How technology is used, how it's defined. It's, that's what defines it. That being said, the things down there give me the heebie-jeebies. And if you don't know how it works, you can't know the consequences. What do you have then? <laughs> Right, we're out of orbs. Man, when I played this game, I remember I had a lot more orbs at the end than just three. Double jump is so good. Just the... Oh, hello. That was a long shot. Just that flexibility and movement. Wow, the actual... Oh, that was, that was ridiculous. Right, let's keep making our way down. Um, I can trigger this guy. Wow! Do you see them? How do I do this? Can I blow up? I need to trigger one of them. That didn't work. They're going for it! <laughs> oh, that didn't work at all, really. Oh, that was hilarious. Meteor Rock, oh man. We can have all sorts of time. I kind of missed trashing them from the start. Dynamite! You guys are way smarter than me. I'm just like, I'm gonna have to jump in there and trigger them. But, but Dynamite is also logical. I think we still, we still have three of the original five. So, like this. Whoop! Wow, that's actually really effective. Oh, this drill's so good now. Okay. Oh! They just threw the box. Oh, Jesus. Where's that guy? Oh, he's up there. Now I'm gonna have to deal with these blocks. Figuring out where they go. We should be alright. Yeah, tanky now. You're not wrong. I am very tanky now. No. <laughs> Just no. That's not what you're supposed to do. No. Oh, wow, I actually got it. Uh, I'm just going to keep making my way down. Oh, oh, hello. We're going down to the core. An obtainium. If you want to ask me any question, guys, just make sure you put... Oh my god. 
Good. Uh, oh, that was dumb. That was dumb again. Come on, break through! Break through! Break through! Thank you. <laughs> Make sure you put at Jack Attack so I can see the message. Stronghold HD. Oh, I love the Stronghold game. No. No. Alright, now we can go through. Oh yeah, you can break through. You hit the guy with the dynamite. Now I'll go grab the pickup. Oh, I just jumped into it. That was a bit dumb. Oh, I jumped into it again. Jeebus. What's happened to me? Actually, I just missed a resource back there, which is a shame. Okay, gotta be quick. That wasn't quick. Okay, I'm gonna wait for them to reset. Okay. Huh? 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 Got it. Got it! I went away for 10 minutes with so many upgrades bought. We are getting money now. We are. We are pulling it in. And we've got double jump. We're coming towards the end of the game. I would love to finish it. I would find it really satisfying. Oh. I wasn't quick enough with that. Why do I put myself in these situations? Nobody really knows. Okay. Dark matter. Like someone just went to a black hole and was like, ah, oh, this looks good. Oh, that point there. Right, we're going to this place. As you can probably tell, there are three, three bars. That is the final room. It is the final room to go to. Return to town. Ah, uh, there's a teleporter here. Yes, there is. I have a teleporter though, don't I? Oh, quick go! <laughs> right, we're talking about the door through. That's the final room. We're not there just yet. We've got to do three things beforehand. The door might well hold what you've come here for. If there are three barriers, there should be three generators, right? You'll need to locate all of them. How about taking a look in the upper layers too? Might be what's been riling those critters so. So there's three generators, we're gonna destroy them. How long have we got? We've got half an hour. Alright, we're probably not gonna to get to an infested planet. There'll be some horrible power on the other side of that door. I can skip a B. Oh, that's useful. Uh, let's look for better upgrades. We're, we're gonna try and do this as quick as we can. Right. Skip! We're speed running now. Sucker punch. Do it. Uh, we probably need to go buy pickaxes and stuff. But we've only got 400 bucks now. I don't think we can buy anything from Biff. It will be too expensive. Oh, actually, we bought the silver pickaxe, so. And then we finally got the gold, and we can't buy that. Alright. Well, we'll buy those health. This is where we need to go. We're going back to the starting area. And this is what I like about this game, and it's an element for other games as well. These chambers, there was something here that we could have discovered before. Hut, 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 hut. Look at this, it's like, oh, what do we do? But if you go up, oh, okay. Take it again, if you go up, look at that. And there's a techno room. Alright, so here's a harder, harder chamber. Try and punch you guys up. Wow, they actually killed you. That's awesome. Diamond, 500 G. Awesome. Oh, it's dark, man. We're getting some pretty crazy minerals now. Oh, hello. Okay. Let's try this again. Awesome. Actually managed it. Alright, so this one here, I gotta get this block to come across. If I can destroy this. Go. Grab that, grab that, grab that. If I punch out this block here. This now just gives me the platform to destroy that. And now. Drink that one out, that goes up, this goes across. I don't get to travel it. 
Right, one generator down. Huh. Wow, that was perfect timing. Uh, let's make our way out. So that's one generator down. Uh, it wants me to go to the next area, but I'm not going to go down, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it's in the next area. I think it's going to be easier for us to go out the way we came. Yeah, it is in the next area. Okay, well, uh... $680. We could probably get an upgrade behind that. For that money. Unfathomable tank! Super armor! Uh, knowing what's coming... Super armor isn't a dumb idea. Dandy? Let's still to your heart's content. 750. More water would be good, but I know what's coming. Right. This area. I have to go down quite a bit, so let's speed it up. Down, down, down. Those were digging down. Good on water. The way you want to go is this way, looking at my path that I've dug before. My drill is so good in this resource now. Look at that. Gold for 20 bucks is like nothing. Oh! That's got to hit. It's the one thing the map doesn't show where the enemies are, and I'm pretty reckless. But I love being able to dig through so quickly. Oh, that block too. Oh, uh, we're still going down. We're still going down. The minerals I'm picking up are essentially worth nothing. Though. You can't get me, fellas. Hey, look, the spike got him. Lest you forget Shrek. It has been a while since we've seen it. My goodness, this one is a long way down. Fine. Down we go. Down we go. Avoid the spikes. Grab some water. We have used essentially none of it though, which is great. I remember that barrel. Right, enemies, where are you? Oh, we see it on the map. We're getting close, fellas. There it is, number three. Ah, it's up around to the side here. So I'm guessing we need to go up and over. Oh, jump into you. And the love, the thing I like about this is because we have the the thing which detects. I probably should go across while the acid's not too crazy at the moment. Because we have the mineral detector now, there are something on the map that wasn't there before. So, this thing, it's a giant arrow. It shows us, if, if you saw it, I might have been too quick if you didn't see it. But it's a giant arrow telling us that, hey look, you can go this way. Because it might not be obvious to some people. Okay. Huh. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay, getting these can be fun. Oh, oh that's some idea. Ah, that's right. That was a little bit of health. Man, I actually made that through with a lot less damage than I thought it would. Alright. Awesome. Stealth killing you is definitely the way to go. Yeah, a lot more orbs now. Back up to 27 orbs. That's really good. Uh, it doesn't want me to come this way. The mineral there. I'm not going to worry too much about the minerals. I think it'd be much more satisfying to finish the game. Oh, that did the kind of the job. Blow yourselves up, crazy guys. Down with me. Oh, hello. 
Ah, we got this way. Oh, we lost the lasers. I don't want to be your friend. Hey, look, it's that submarine from the bottom. Oh no, I don't want to be your friend. Or your friend. But you. Two down, one to go, guys. One to go. We nearly finished this game. But the cool thing is, it's not like just over once you finish it. Uh, you can explore a whole lot more in this game. There's plenty of upgrades to get. There are. Uh, especially, I guess, speedrunning this game. Wow. <laughs> when I came to this last time, I missed every acid drop, and I hit it every time, every single one, a time around. Uh, the cool thing is that there is plenty still to play. It's not like, oh, it's just done now. Um, dropping a teleporter. Oh, actually, we're so close to the end there. We might as well just drop down, because it's right here. Oh, uh, Teslagrad is on. Cool. I have played that. It was pretty sweet. I kind of enjoyed my time with it. I didn't play too much of it, though. Alright, we're back here. Now, what I'll do... That's not dead yet. It's not dead. Okay, we'll go back to town. We'll sell our gear. We got 500 bucks worth. Find those generators, we got one left to go. For a while, yeah, you enjoyed it a lot. Cool. Beware can be difficult in some moments. I definitely agree. There was a moment it took me a long time to figure out what was wrong. I'm probably just not very good at those kinds of puzzle games, though. So. Oh, wait, I'm thinking of probably a different game, not Tesrograd. Tesrograd is the one with the bosses. It's got the crazy eagle thing, like a bird in a cage. I think I'm getting that game confused with another one. If I remember Tesrograd. It's the one with the crazy bird. <laughs> we got 600 bucks. We can't buy anything from Dandy. We're so cheap. We're a cheap guy. Let's go back to Biff. Biff, what do you got? Gold pickaxe. Or oil lantern. Let's buy the pickaxe. And the platinum pickaxe. Now they've got a better pickaxe. Ah, uh, we need to go... Actually, I don't know where this is. We can off, we can probably take the teleporter to go further down. Like, I can't see where the, the chamber is. I'm guessing it's halfway down. If we go here, to the side. Oh, we'll go this way. We'll go from below. Oh, let's try here. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. One blue orb. Make your way around. Huh! Oh no! Oh, that's alright. Boom! Last generator destroyed. Hey guys, it's time to enter the door. It is time to enter the door. It's the dark matter. The noise Biff makes is terrible. Ah, it's only Biff. Oh, diamond. Lovely. Look, I've got more money now with that 740 than I had before. Uh, let's quickly... Oh, critical hit from the droid. Pop to the teleporter. We're, we're speeding it. We don't need, per we don't need perfection. We're going as fast as we can. We've got 10 grand so far in this playthrough. I think we're doing well. Right, Dandy. Let's get yet a better pickaxe. Just in case we run out of water or something. Or at least we've got something decent. Uh, what I might also do. Not that we're going to need it. It's no decision. Hope whatever's behind that door is fine. What do we have? I'm going to grab some health. I want to grab some dynamite for the, for the sake of it. Hey guys, you ready to do this? Are you ready? Let's do this. Ah, that's the last no water. So, no more water for Jack now until he finishes the game. Three chambers done. Three doors, three generators. Into the door we go. Wah, ha, ha. Here we go. Just 
testing our skills. Where are we? Blurp. That I when I heard that the first time, I was like, "Wow, there's Daleks in this game. There are seriously Daleks." Blurp. Blurp, 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 blurp. <laughs> I don't need the voice actor. It's already done. What is it? What is it? Voltbot, welcome to Vectron. Rusty. Ah, oh, what? Joe? Why is this my voice act actually? Part of Joe resides in our new body. He merged with us freely. And soon so will you. You are in need of a true heart. We're prepared to strip you of your weak steambot shell. And you're already more part of us than you are yourself. We will be invincible. The Voldemort will rise and rule. You prepared me, that's true. I'm prepared to stop you. There is the heart we need. If you would not give it freely. Zip. All right. It has taken me a while to remember how to do this. I can't step on his head. But there are generators around the room. And I need to destroy them. Oh, look. He gives a perk thing as well. If I can trigger him to, like, fire down here or something. Or I'll just do it here. His eyes looking around. It's time to go. And he's popping out one of those little dudes. We should be alright, though. I actually kind of wish I had the better pickaxe now. Oh, I popped it. That's alright. Alright. Generators are out. So what that means we need to do is we need to get on this guy's head. Oons, 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 oons. Alright, here we go. You guys can probably guess how many rounds it's going to be. Oh look, that's a perfect hiding spot. I jump off it too. Oh no, I can't. I can't. Oh, wow. I can't make it. Oh, now he's popping out the exploding guys. Terrific. I wonder if my drill is actually better. Probably not. But my, my, my trusty... Oh, boy. Get down. If I can punch it across from here, it should be a bit better. Nope, that's not going to work. Oh, no, you! Got a lot of health though, we should be alright. Trigger you off, that'd be good. There's one in his head. And. Is that you? Is that you done? No, there's still another one. Alright, must be up here. I can't see you, little generator. Oh, I see you. Straight on below me. Oh, I'm gonna make that one in time. Alright. I need that pickup though. Quick! Get on him! Pickaxe time! Eat it, man. Eat it. Alright. Are you ready? Oh no, it's the moving beam! There it's, it's the red ones, that one stands still. Actually, I want to grab the ones out here, because it seems like the inner ones give us cover. I don't know if that guy's going to see us from the wall, he is! That's right. Oh gosh! Took my hat, man. Let's do the top one. Oh, he's low. Okay, which is the long one then? I find that off at an angle. I didn't even know I could do that. Oh, missed the jump. Ah, oh, that was good timing. Oh, run, 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 run! How long does that go for? Oh, wow, that was good timing. 
Okay. One more up here. We will need that for showing me. But we should be safe to hide right here. Oh, come on. This should be it. You! Lovely. Lovely! Dev! Why are you punching me? And that is it. And that is it. The boss fight completed. There it is. Finished. Behold my masterpiece. What? I thought it was supposed to be a statue of Rusty. It doesn't look like Rusty, does it? It looks like something else. It was when he saved the town from the demons, after all. Not this. What is this anyway? A scrap metal monkey? Size, they're not obvious. There's the abstraction of distractible Steambot acquiring Godhood. He's, he's a bit different. That guy. Bravo, great speedrun. I've enjoyed it. Thank you. We're, I won't call it too much of a speedrun, considering the amount of deaths and bad players are doing. But hey, I'm really glad that we managed to finish it in the time. Cranky, it sort of resembles me poor father after he was run over by a freight train. That's that's a pretty rough insult. The rest is soul. He just compared me to someone run over by a freight train. My sensibilities for finding things in life are altogether wasted here without rest of this place, exhaustively devoid of class. Why do we even need this monument? We still haven't done a proper search down there. A month has been missing now, honey. The cataclysm down there destroyed everything beneath the old world. Nothing left down there but a rubble. Should probably focus on the future, girl. Scavenging those tunnels is no work for a young lady. Nothing walked out of the destruction alive, dear. Come on now, people. This girl can't be the only one with some backbone. I miss him too. I could always friend he was. Sniffle. A sniffle. That sniffle for you. I, I remember the first day he walked into my shop. It was on a Tuesday. Wow. I'm screwing on a Tuesday. That's awesome. Oh, he's off together, man. Dorothy, he didn't just evaporate, did he? He's still down there somewhere. I just, I just know it. It's like, it's like the, the feel-good part of the story. I will keep looking. For better or for worse, I will find him. And so guys, that's SteamWorld Dick. We managed to play through the whole thing, which is really cool. So, wow, that's crazy. That's the exact same time as my last playthrough. Two hours and 40 minutes. That, that's really... <laughs> so that was a silver medal. I think that's bronze, not gold. I don't think I was worthy for gold for the total cash. The total orbs, we're two deaths. That's all right. But my, my loot carrying wasn't so great. But guys, I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. We've still got 10 minutes left. And so... We'll probably just play around for a bit more, and I'll just chat for a bit for the moment. I don't think it's worth going into Infested Planet, but don't worry, I'll do a stream of that another time. So, what I want to tell you guys, make sure, most of you guys are probably following the channel already, but Geordie Jones should be here soon. So if Geordie, if you're there, it'd be great if you could post into the chat, so I know that you're ready to roll in 10 minutes time. And if you're welcome to start early, because I am essentially done. Uh, other things that you guys should know is that I'll be streaming Essentially, the time at the same time slot, but just one hour later, uh, which I have no idea what that would be for you. But for me, I was playing from 6 to 9 p.m. will be from 7 to 10. And I won't be doing it tomorrow, 24 hours from now. I said, actually, it'll be 21. What I will be doing, though, in 48 roughly hours is... Give me three minutes, Jordy. Sweet. I will stall, but make it interesting. <laughs> I'll be doing Banner Saga, and that'll be a blind playthrough. So I'm really looking forward to playing that. It's been on my watch list for a very long time. But the day after that, I'm doing Multiplayer Mayhem, and that's going to be awesome. It's going to be Screen Cheat, Spelunky, and Risk of Rain. Risk of Rain's co cooperative, so four of us are playing. Uh, Screen Cheat's competitive, and hopefully we'll get the new 1.2 patch, which allows us to play with some new game modes and stuff that we haven't even played, which is really cool. And then there's Spelunky. Spelunky is a can of worms. We're going to play a little bit of cooperative, depending on how we're on Risk of Rain. We've been getting our ass kicked when, we, when we've done the practice runs. But Spelunky is both competitive and cooperative. And you, the competitive mode is the deathmatch mode. And most people who I've talked to Spelunky about don't realize there is a four-player deathmatch mode, which is amazing. It's like one-minute rounds. It's complete chaos. Everybody dies constantly. I would, if you can come to one of my streams, please come to that one. It's going to be loads of fun. We've got party hats. It's going to be funny. It's it's just going to be hilarious. Uh, we tried playing cooperative Spelunky. It didn't work out well. 
somehow I kept getting thrown on spikes by my other team members. But multiplayer deathmatch is awesome. So that'll be in three days' time. I'll post some more announcements about that. But Geordie's getting ready. He's doing Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri, which is a game I haven't played myself, but it is a very old game which has a very good reputation behind it. So what I should tell you about SteamWorld Dig, a fistful of dirt, once you completed it, uh, they're actually producing a new game in the SteamWorld franchise, but it's SteamWorld Heist. I presume it has nothing to do with digging in a, in a mine shaft. So I've completed the game. I've now completed it twice. Uh, and I can show you, like, slot A. You can resume the game from where you're up to, and you have all of the upgrades. It's kind of like New Game... Well, not New Game Plus, but you can continue to play from where you're up to. So if you want to keep exploring, uh, if you want to get every upgrade, stuff like that, you're welcome to do that. I'm really, guy, really glad you guys enjoyed the stream. I enjoyed it. What the sign here. Welcome to Tumbleton. We're nuts for gold. Population 3. It was 3 to start with. It was me, Dorothy, and Cranky. But it's actually now Population 6 now. Oh, I think, I think the old barmaid was here from the start. Where is my old save at? It's somewhere deep in the mines. Look at this. Absolutely chaos down here. Uh, the other game I was going to play, but it seems like it's just worked out perfectly in terms of timing, is uh, Infested Planet, which is a crazy RTS uh, alien shooting. It's kind of like Space Marines, controlling Space Marines. A really fun game. We don't have time to play it tonight. I don't, I'm not going to bother playing it for just five minutes, so it's not really worth it. But I'll probably play it on the stream in the coming weeks after this big the sale stream. So make sure you stay tuned, Geordie won't be too far away. Let's go back into this mine and we'll just keep digging and see how much money we can get. Actually, out of interest, if I go back to my other save game, how far down does this place go? I don't know. I know this save game is, the one that we were just doing is quite low down. I wonder if it's just impenetrable rock. Oh boy, that's, okay, it looks like it's just, Kill down here, aren't I? Oh, it looks like a penetrable rock down here. So there is a bottom to this well. That's good. Otherwise, we'll probably be here for a very long time. It's a very fun game, at least. But anyway, guys, Jordy will be here in a moment. This is the perfect time to go grab a glass of water, do your bathroom stop, get ready for Jordy's stream. He's streaming for a couple of hours, I have no idea how long it will actually be. I cannot remember off the top of my head, top of my head. But I'm sure it will be good nevertheless. Let's just boost up here. This is the final room. Well, guys, I think, Jordy, how close are you to getting ready? Because if you want to, I can switch to Invested Planet for, for five minutes, if you do want another five, ten minutes to set up. But let me know in the chat. Jump back to the main menu so we can listen to that sweet music. Jim North, Steam World Heist will be an instant buy. Yeah, I think with the polish and enjoyment I got out of this game, I, I think Heist, it's, it's already on my watch list. I'm just keeping up to date with what's happening with that game. Because if there's anything like this, that game will come out and it will be as amazing as this one is. Thanks, Friday Nano Spear, Ordinary Done. That has go ahead, Jack, Geordie. What is I go ahead to play the other game or go ahead to switch over to you? Thanks everyone else. Jim North, Sangili, Deatus, Roto Penguin, thanks for all the laughs and sticking with me throughout the stream. Been loads and loads of fun. I have no idea what Geordie meant. Go ahead. Go ahead with ending? Go ahead with switching over? I've got three minutes, Geordie. <laughs> There is an achievement for reaching the bottom hull. All right. A guru, was there, no, uh, was there no raffle? There was a raffle, it was in the middle of the stream. So about an hour and a half ago. You can go for another two or three minutes. How about, if we're gonna go for another two or three minutes, let's do Infested Planet. We'll do it till Geordie says ready. Hold on a moment with me. We'll boost it up. Thankfully it was really quick. Look at that, we're already going. So, we'll do a brand new profile for this. Uh, I've played this game loads before. This is Infested... Uh, oh, wow, I typed NZ wrong. This is Infested Planet. Geordie, I'm going to keep an eye out until you say stop. But I'll just keep going until you say so. 
Uh, this game is loads and loads of fun. I have uh, really enjoyed playing it. We're just going to jump into a brand new campaign. It's going to be really good introing it for you. Uh, we won't be able to do much of it, but hopefully when you're like, oh, this is cool, you'll come and check out the full stream of it in a couple of weeks when we check it out uh, for real. All right, so what we do is we have these guys here, our little soldiers, and we give them commands by right-clicking. Simple RTS mechanics. When they come into range of enemies, they are automatically attacked. So these are eggs that spawn aliens. Uh, the cool thing about this is that you can push A and do an attack move, and they'll attack as soon as they come into range, which is really, really useful. Now, while this game might seem simple, I tell you it's not. Because look at this. This is the amount of enemies we're going to be fighting. And this is only one base spawning. I've played games where there's been tens up to like 100,000 enemies killed in it. It has been intense. Why don't you kill those alien boys over there and kill that alien hive? Can't wait to have all the fun. So we'll come towards it. There's some turrets here which will attack and poison our units. But this basically got health once we destroy it. We can capture the point. So you this looks really cool. This game is awesome. This game is so much fun. I, I want to do a proper stream on it later on. We're kicking an alien ass now. Why don't you mob up here and capture the entire sector? So I'm just going to give an attack order. It's fairly simple to start this game. Actually, let's go this way while there's a big turret. But when you've got the full game, you've got men to manage, you've got health. Uh, you can, they respawn infinitely, which is cool. But you've got loads of different... You get like resource points, so like 20 points. And you can choose, well... I could buy shotguns for a pot and have like a group of shotgunners, or I could buy one of these massive turrets and just have lots of riflemen. It's kind of that balance which you can choose between. Alright, so we've captured that sector. Let's do the attack move up here. Starcraft cost the cost gauntlet. That's actually a really good way of putting it. I'm actually switching over the Twitch description for like 30 seconds. <laughs> Until Jordy says he's all good. These guys are coming in and mop it up. Actually, if I move them in, I can tell them to focus fire, and the bullets will try and shoot through them in. Like those little enemies are taking, are taking the fire. But we should be able to destroy this. Here we go. The hell's ticking down now. All right, let's capture this point. They have little, uh, little knives they use when they get up close to personal. Cool, mission one. Very simple mission. Very, very simple. So we, we only killed 11,000 aliens in that one. Like, ah, you know, that's, that's like nothing. That's what I love about this game. It's just massive on scale. So we get some money for the shop, which we can use later on. But we'll do the next mission. Let's see how many missions I can churn out before Geordie's ready. I would I would keep playing this. Just It's, it's, it's so much fun. Alright, so here's the deal. We need to roll through those patch of grubs to get to our target. Take the team and capture the entire sector. So at the top there now we've got health bars for each of the units. Uh, and it also shows us what unit type they are. Does it have tower defense elements? Kind of. Like, I often build little turrets uh, that, you know, hold ground from you while I move guys to take out flags or other base. So kind of. All of Dark Souls is all the way. Just test the play that why does it say Steam or Dick? I've just changed the description now. We finished Steam or Dick. We finished the game. And we've got a couple of minutes until Geordie's ready. And if instead of just waiting at the main menu, we should, we should kill some aliens. Uh, so we've got BP. I have no idea what BP actually stands for. I think it's battle points. We've got four of it, and Marines cost, and the cost goes up per unit. But as I buy them, I can get some more guys. So let's grab these guys over here. So we'll take out that, that base. I'm not the last of these guys. And as you knock out every base, you get... I oh, should take out this time. You get some more experience. Uh, some more BPs. But as you can see, there's now seven per guy. But this helicopter is going to give us some stuff. I love shotgunners. I think they're possibly my favorite unit. Possibly behind minigunners. I'm going to bring these guys up and I'll show you how powerful these guys are. They knock out massive groups of enemies. They're actually kind of getting wasted because of the... The turret there, but that's that's all right. They can knock out massive groups of enemies. It's ridiculous. Oh, attack move up, guys! Now this guy hopefully will die, so I can demonstrate. Okay, he's died. There's a respawn timer there, and then once that's done, uh, he'll come back. 
That's it. But and while you might think, oh, that, that's, that's fine. You know, you could just have infinite guys, you get through it. There are times where you will not be able to continually push forward because there are just so many enemies. Uh, it looks like uh, Geordie is changing the move box lights. He must be ready to go. Wayne, please come on, Geordie. Alright, he's ready. Cool, we just won the mission. Perfect timing. Thank you for saving me. No worries. Well, guys, this was Infested Planet, and I'll probably do a stream on it in a couple of weeks. But thank you for everyone who stuck through the whole three hours and watched the entirety of SteamWorld Dig. It's been lots of fun. I'll be back in two days' time with Banner Saga, and the day after that will be Multiplayer Mayhem. You can check me out on YouTube and on Twitter. I don't do any Twitch streams on my personal Twitch channel. I just do it for GOG. I'm exclusive in that way. It's been loads of fun. I'll stay around in the chat for a while. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you later.